Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. How we doing, bros? Great to see you. What's up, Jill? We got Josh. We got Derek in the house. Welcome on in, broskies. Bros, broskies, and baguettes. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. And let me tell you, we've got a juicy little gift from Queen Bay, terrorized Andariel herself. She may or may not, and by that I mean she definitely did, drop us off a freaking Griffins this morning, bros. I woke up, okay, <laughs> this is how petty I am. Let me, uh, let me, let me lay it on you thick. I'm so petty that every time I wake up throughout the night, I immediately reach to my phone so I can see what TerraZone is is happening right now and you best believe I don't care if it's 4 a.m. 2 a.m. or 12 p.m. if it's terrorized Andariel I am getting my sorry ass out of bed and this is the reason why so I woke up at uh, well I don't want to say I'm embarrassed to say <laughs> it would be a sleep in for literally 99% of the rest of the globe but I caught the tail end of terrorized Andy and uh, I'm damn sure glad I did. I'm damn glad I did. This is only the third Griffins that I've ever found. And conveniently, we're expecting to Nova right now. So we can put this little sap sucker on. This is the only, the second non-ethereal Griffins I've ever found as well. And, 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 it, but wait, there's more. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> oh no, it's in a different stash. But I also found the grandfather. <laughs> it's on, uh, it's on our Bob, our Hawk Nation Bob. But, uh, we got the grandfather ticked off the grail as well. Nice haircut. Thank you, man. Thank you for the sentiment. I feel like it makes it look like I'm fresh out of the army reserves. But, you know, that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Thanks, dude. 10, 15, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'll take a 15, 10. You know, it's better than, better than nothing. And Riz, man, thank you so much, dog. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Enterprise. The third largest Manald manufacturer in the Southern Hemisphere. We're up to seven now, Riz. And Eric, dude, thank you so much, homie. Let's go, brother. So glad I caught you night shift sucks. Ah, well, hopefully we can keep you company through the night shift, man. Thank you so much, dog. Thank you, man. All right, bros, should we uh, stop monologuing and just ID this little sap sucker that we've got here? It took all of me not to ID it at the time, but I was like, no, 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 no. I will wait for Stram, but let's do it. So this rolls 15 to, 10, 15 to 20 on the minus enemy lightning res, the most important roll, obviously. And then it rolls 10 to 15 on the bonus lightning damage which is much less significant because we have like all of this percentage lightning damage already, but it's still nice to get a good roll. And it also rolls something on the defense, but I can't remember. All right, let's go, bros. Let's go, bros. 2015, come on, come on. Oh, you've got to be flipping my dip, man. 1511, this is... Oh my god, I found three griffins in my entire life. I've found a 1610, I've found an ethereal one, and now I've found a 1511. Are you kidding me, dog? God damn. God damn. Consider my dip flipped. Oh well, it's still a huge upgrade. It's still nice. It's still nice, Jassy Fruit. <laughs> oh fuck, I couldn't think that I could find it worse griffins than the previous duel I've found, but somehow I've found a way. Well, okay, here comes the cope, here comes the cope. At least this means that the next griffins we find later on the stream in T minus 34 minutes, then it'll still be exciting because there'll be a high chance we get an upgrade. Unless we roll an actual 1510, which would be rather impressive, honestly. Oh, damn. And Josh, your boy, next nine days on vacation. Hell yeah, bro. So you're going to goblin up? Oh, yes. You and me both, dog. Because we are locked in a heated battle right now. Me and Mish, 
Magic Finding Grail Completion Competition. We got three days left on the clock. We do have a handy lead, but the numbers are inflated, Troy. They're inflated numbers because I've been getting crafty. I've been getting sneaky and doing stuff like running normal Antario to, 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 to cross off all of the easy stuff, you know? <laughs> so if she does that, then she could make up ground real quick. So we got to, uh, we got to dial in. We got to dial in, we got to level up, and we got to engage full goblin mode, Preskis. Oh, man, this is almost if it isn't worth putting a socket in there, but uh, I feel like we should do it anyway, because it would actually be kind of handy for terrorized Meffy boy, which is going to happen in 11 minutes. Got to find that Zod. Yeah, she's found, like, a Jar rune, a Zod rune, Tyrael's, an Om rune. It's, like, the only high rune we've found. We've found... I don't even know if we've crossed off Ist yet. Let's see. We haven't even found an Ist. Our highest is Mal, except we have found a Bear rune. But no Ist to Sir, no Jardazod. So we it would be really nice if we could cross a couple of those off. Ooh, uncheck Griffin from the Grail list. I already did. I already did. <laughs> I know it's kind of like, oh, we hadn't ID'd it yet, but I just, I did it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, good looking out though. Would a bunch of LK runs find high runes? It could do for sure. The only thing is LK really shines on uh, single player, where you can crank up the players count to play seven or eight. When you're online doing it on P1, it's kind of gabagool. But uh, Hawking, Hawking is, you know, I, I reckon there's a, a real red hot chance we hawk a couple. And essentially what we're going to do is when there's a bitch in Terra Zone, we're going to probably fang it over to the Sorceress and just blast. Just walk in and start blasting. And then when there's not a bitch in Terra Zone, we'll just uh, enter the Hawk Nation. Wow, that is loud on my end. I don't know how it sounds for you, but it's loud as over here. Okay, I don't know what we should put in this. Uh, maybe Tapaz? I kind of don't want to burn an ist on a 15, 11 griffins. <laughs> it's not loud enough on your end, yeah. I cranked up to full on my little st stream deck thing, but I'm sure there's a way that I can crank it up even more. A facet? True. A lightning facet would be sick. I haven't found one yet. I've only f I've found three facets. They've all been cold. So hopefully we can cross off a couple more of those off the Grailer as well. Um, okay, let's have a snoop, a quick little snooper doop at what the res will be doing when we take off the Shaco slash swap around jewelry so we we uh, hit that 105. So if we put this on... Oh, noobru! I min max too hard. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Metal Grid? I found Amaris as well. I found two Metal Grids. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I found a 27 Maris. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was also from Terrorized and Ariel. Kind of filthy. Okay, so we can put that on because we don't need that FCR anymore. And let's have a look now. So, 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 we can still take off 10 FCR, which probably means we take off this, even though that is a bitchin' ring, although we can't because of the spirit. Okay. Basically, we need to find a token, which we're one Terra Essence away, the Diablo one. I have been, I probably did like 40, 30 or 40 Chaos runs this morning. No Red Essence. So we need to respect the attributes, but we also need to respect the skills because I accidentally clicked this button twice. So I burnt a skill point just out of sheer stupidity. Um, okay, but let's have a quick snoop. Okay, Rares is looking good. Man, Maris is just so useful. <laughs> so useful. Okay, and we could swap this ring as long as we put on something that gives us strength. 
and then maybe like res and magic find because the magic find is going to be a little bit bricked yeah 175 okay i think we put a topaz in there i think we commit to that let's have a snoop at these rings this is beautiful i found this in chaos hey isn't that a nice ring i feel like jewelers would really like this one 10 FCR, 101 attack rating, 7 lifesteal, replenish life is a bit of a miss, but high cold res, high po poison res. I'll need you guys to tell me if, how good that is, but um, I feel like that's more of a softy boy ring. Let's see. So we need one with strength and good res, and ideally magic find, but you know. Oh, look at that fire res. There's a lot of strength there. Ooh, 19 strength. 19 strength with hot to trot res. That might may be the go. Or we could just leave on the one we have already. Or alternatively. Alternatively, we could put on another FCR ring. Oh, but then we lose the SOJ. Nah, let's just leave it for now. Let's just leave it for now. We'll, we'll respec and then we'll do it properly later. But we're 199 on the MF now, which is... I mean, it's not terrible. I, I like to be, personally, I like to be like about, about 250-ish plus. But, you know, it's good enough. It's good enough. <clears throat> Reckon Nova Source over Lightning Source, still learning how to play characters. Uh, I don't think it's so much one over the other, personally. They both have their different things that they're better at. I just really like the playstyle of Nova Source. So I personally prefer Nova Source. Lightning Source is just, like, better at killing bosses. Um, but I just, the playstyle of Nova Source is just so nice. So nice. You know, you just press one button and everything dies. It's amazing. All right. Well, why don't we wait? F why don't we do a quick, uh, quick chaos run while we wait the five minutes, four minutes now for Durance, and then hopefully we can yoink that red essence. Okay. So these stormcasters were lightning immune, but we broke it with our Sunday, and I can already feel the difference of how how much more quickly we're killing them. With that bonus, with that bonus 15%, um, whatchamacallit, minus enemy lightning rays. I don't think I have any flawless amethyst here. Yeah, I already cubed him up. Noob! Oh well. Okay, we lost a lot of life as well. <laughs> we only have 622 life with boot on. That's fucking terrifying. Before we were on 740, where I felt a lot more comfortable. <laughs> eee! That's alright, we'll just kill everything before it can uh, hit us. That's the plan. Oh man, I would really like a bit more life though, I'm gonna be honest. Straight up no lifing over here. Die, you fool. Okay, I am honestly in disbelief of how many of these uh, Chaos runs I've done with no red essence. But maybe, 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 maybe now that I'm streaming and we got that stream of luck coming in hot, then maybe we'll get it this run, which would be ridiculous, but it would also be delightful. Okay, these guys we've got to be like a little bit care of, so I just like to edge lord them since we're hardcore gamers for the season. Oh, he's lightning enchanted too. Incoming essence. Yeah, it's like a double essence drop or some shit. <laughs> Gotta put on Crescent Moon. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, I'll show you guys the gear. Um, I'll show you guys the gear after this run as well, hey. Come on, red, 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 red. Ow. Hey, we can cube this, though. And by cube, I mean clickety-clack this thing. Yoink. Alright, so here's what we're rolling with, broskies. Oh, rare Eden Axe. 
Oh, I'll pick it up just because I like you. Just because I like you. Oh, it's too far away. I don't know where it is. All right, here we got. Here's what we got, bros. So, we're rolling around with Crescent Moon, minus 35 enemy lightning rays. We have our very narrowly not anti-perfect Griffins. <laughs> We've got a Mara's that we can now smack on because of the Griffins. We've got a 35 all res Viper. We have this absolutely bitchin' spirit. I It took me so many rolls to get this, but holy shitballs, this is a good roll. Because it's 35 FCR, right? But it's also super duper high on the mana, and it's max on the magic absorb. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. We've got these rare booties. 30 run walk, bit of fire, bit of lightning, and 20 MF. Could definitely use an upgrade here. SOJ! We've got Tal's belt for some reason. I don't know. This should probably be a rare belt. It should definitely be an Arachnid Smash, but I haven't found one of those yet. We've got this ring that we probably need to swap out since we don't need that 10 FCR anymore. And then we've got Trangs, which could probably be Mage Fists since it's only giving us two, two cold rares. And then down the bottom, we've just got like lots of MF stuff. Little baby old rares thing there. And a couple of little life ones and a couple of little fire runs as well. Yep. And then this is to compensate the Sunder. Lightning Resin Life. Got a 38 Geeds now, which is a pretty bitchin' upgrade. Our perfect Lightning Sunder that we found from Terrorized Trav. Our one and only Annie, so we're not allowed to die. And then we have an Assassin Torch. So, <laughs> just really bringing it home. And then on Switch, we've got... Uh, 5-3, five, 5-3 three, five, three Call to Arms with another spirit. And Murky Boy has Cure in an Ethereal Death Mask. He's got a Treachery and a Mage Plate. And then he has an absolutely beautifully rolled inside. But unfortunately, it's in a, in a Thresher, not an Ethereal Thresher. But this is also a really beautiful roll that you guys can't see. You'll just have to take my word for it, I guess. When has a streamer ever lied to, to their audience? Don't answer that. And Bunny Stew, man. Dude, thank you so much, homie. Your Grail Challenge inspired you to start a new solo cell found on your PC. Hell yeah, dude. I'm enjoying it so much. I tell you how much I'm enjoying it. I found a Mavina's Diadem the other day, and I wasn't even mad about it. I was happy about it, because I could cross it off the Grailer. Usually, I'd be so salty about it. Uh, you'll miss your Switch solo cell found, but playing on PC is so much better. Gang, gang. Beat me, sure. Oh, <laughs> best believe it, Bunny. Gang, gang, homie. Gang, gang. Alright, we're on, bros. We're on, bros. Thank you so much again, Bunny. Thank you, man. So we got Terrorized Maffy Boy, which uh, has always ended well for us. We have not once died teleporting over to Maff. But now we can boo up. Now we've got 600 whole, whole health. Love you, Schmuck. Oh, thanks, man. I miss you, dudes. I miss you, dudes. Whoever made that meme, that Wolverine meme, that was fucking hilarious. Whoever that was. I showed it to all of my friends at the beach. And I was like, see? See? You guys are lucky. You guys are lucky I'm here. <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> oh, it was you! Yes! It was so good. I got such good mileage out of it on my end. Thanks, Brenadito. Thanks, man. Brendito. Did you kill another character? No. No, I mean, we died with Kano once or twice, so we added th those on, but uh, we haven't killed another character yet, except the stream is young. The stream is young. I almost died earlier, it was either last night or this morning, just, just doing a chaos run without energy shield on, and, but I realized just in the nick of time. You're back online, we're back, baby. We're back, we got three days left to bring it home. <clears throat> okay, I'm glad we are killing him at an okay kill speed, even though we are Nova. I kind of can't be bothered hitting the other racks. Humble apologies. I just think we blast, we just blast Matthew boy. Just blast him. You're playing hardcore? We're hardcore gamers this season, you best believe it. Best believe it. 
Do you still have the gold like small charming stash? Yeah, dog. It's safe. Don't worry. It's safe. Get 200 FCR? No way, Jose. I am a 105 SCR man, personally. <clears throat> but, 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 but. It would be really nice if we could find an arachnid's mesh. Just putting it out there in the universe, just as a little bit of manifestation right now. That would be a huge upgrade for us. Absolutely huge upgrade. Is that demon machine? Found one of those before. I don't know how Demon Machine rolls on the ED. So let's just compare it to the other one. See. Oh, the other one's somewhere else. We'll just put it there. Your dead levels went up. Oh, from Kano. From the Kano stream. Yeah, from the Carrion Kano stream. That's, uh, that's where it's from. We added in those levels. Why do you look like Prince Harry? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's my regal mannerisms. In fact, that's definitely it. Yeah. The KD stream was fire, you loved it. Oh, thanks, man. That really means a lot to hear. Because I feel like... I feel like streaming with other people doesn't really play to my strengths. Um... But uh, in saying that, my strengths also don't play to my strengths. But uh, I haven't really quite, you know, figured out kind of like streaming with someone else and then like still talking to you guys. You know, I feel like I'm just ignoring you guys the whole time. Which, I don't know. I don't like that. But I'm sure it's just like anything. You just need, pr you just need to practice sometimes. Come on, Mephi boy! What hammer? What are this? Ironstone. We found that one. 220? Oh, I'll raise you a 220 and give you Gabagool instead! God damn it. You will. Yoink. <clears throat> the more you ignore, the more I'll say. Oh, hell yeah, Mike. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I will squeaky wheel gets the oil. Ah, uh, the hell. <laughs> you sound like me, Mike, just yapping, you know? Just a, just a yapper. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense half the time, you know what I mean? I'm just talking for the sake of talking. Uh, I will... Uh, I'll say that I can appreciate a real stream and not a PG one. Oh, yeah. You would rarely find anything PG around here. Just the lowest brow, bottom of the barrel jokes are absolutely not above me. You know? <clears throat> Take what I can get. <laughs> PhD in Yapology. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, bro. Put some respect on my name. I'm a fucking doctor, dudes. I don't like those guys up there. Short War Bow is what we call in the industry Gabagool. Any advice for a first time player to the game? Just finish normal. Oh, dude. Welcome, dog. Welcome to D2. Any advice? And congrats on beating normal. That's sick. It kind of depends what class you're playing. But... I will tell you some advice. So, because of Diablo 2 is such an old game, right? Like, when it was first conceived, it was like, what was it? Like, 1998 or something insane? Like, 1999 or something? I should really know that stuff, shouldn't I? There's a lot of stuff the game doesn't teach you. Because, like, back in the day, you know, the standard was to, like, the game wouldn't hold your hand. You, you would just, like, have to seek out the information yourself. Like, if you're, like, reading, like, some strategy guide or something. So, there's a lot of stuff that Diablo 2 doesn't explain to you. Like, rune words, for example. And there are a couple of really, really strong early game rune words that you can make early on. 
you know, go figure. And for sure, I can, I can imagine if if you're a new player coming into a, a system like Rune Words, then it's could be like super duper overwhelming. Like, oh my god, you know, what the fuck is going on here? There are so many of these. Like, how do I know which ones are good? But some of the really good early game ones are probably worth knowing. And some just off the dome are lore. <clears throat> so you need an Oort rune and a Soul rune in a two socket helm. Uh, stealth is really good. So a Tal rune and an Eth rune in a two socket armor. Or Smoke is also another good early game rune word. So like a Nef and a Lum rune in a two socket armor. Then, if you're a caster, so you use spells, then spirit is huge. Tal, Thal, or Am in either a four socket shield or a four socket sword. What else, bros? What are some other really good ones that I'm missing? Ooh, yeah, Ral or Tal, that's a great one. Yeah, Ancient's Pledge in a three socket shield is a really good one. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it's got to be white. It's got to be a white item as well. It can't be blue or yellow or unique. It has to be a plain white item or else it won't work. Yeah. Um, what else? What are some other good tips? I guess in Diablo 2 as well, uh, it's super duper common, especially if you're just starting out, to stop in an area and just farm up a little bit. So, for example, what we're doing right now is just killing the same boss over and over again. And if you find yourself at a roadblock, you know, it could be worthwhile, since you just beat normal mode, it could be worthwhile doing normal bail runs over and over again, get some levels, get some better gear. Or Nightmare Lich Wand! Hold up, wait a minute. Is this Bone... Bone Shade? Yeah. Already found it. In the bin! Yeah, so uh, normal bail runs for you or nightmare and Dara runs could be really good. What else we got here? Oh, did I miss some gloves? My bad, bros. Sorry. Um, there are a lot of sites that break it all down. Yeah, there's heaps of sites. I'll show you my personal favorite just because I just like... I've always used it since I was a kid, and I like the colors. But this is my favorite one for like looking up rune words or like looking up anything, really. Is D2 Tome of Knowledge. So they got like, these are some cube recipes you can have a snoop at. And then there's, <clears throat> there's like a rune words page you can have a snoop at. So Ancient Pledge, this is a great one for shields. Give you heaps of res, Ral or Tal. Yeah, so D2 Tome. But there's, there's stacks of them. You'll just find your favorite. You know what I mean? The hell is that some Aussie website? Nah, bro. Heaps of people use that one. I used to use Aret Summit back in the day a little bit. I don't know if that's still... Still popping. Aret Summit. <laughs> that's a website you use. Hell yeah, man. Nice. D2 Tome's good because... They still update it. I mean... As long as Briz Blizzard updates the game. <laughs> Some of the ones, they don't get updated anymore. Oh, Death Mask. Black Thorns. Black Horns, excuse me. Already crossed that one off. And you bastard. Black Tongue. I think I've found that as well. <laughs> if anyone, by the way, is, if anyone's curious about what we have or haven't found, then I've got a link to an Excel spreadsheet, which is our our grail in the description if you want to have a little peruse 7 mf small jewel yeah just we should have left that in the inventory hey thank you so much dude my pleasure man if you got any questions particularly the easy ones then i'm your guy yeah feel free feel free to ask away don't feel embarrassed um yeah welcome welcome and enjoy i guess another thing that you probably already know by now is that in Diablo 2, like caster builds are really, really strong or they're 
they're really really strong but they're also really really they're much easier to get online to get rolling than like uh, a build that hits with a weapon because in Diablo 2 when you're casting spells your spell damage scales off your skill but when you're hitting stuff with like a sword then your damage scales off the sword itself so you're a lot more gear dependent when you're playing like a barbarian <clears throat> that goes around and smacks stuff with a sword yep cold gill and this is a viper fork yeah yeah but you so that is a big part of the reason why I'm such a sorceress simp. Absolute source simp over here. That and I just I just really like the playstyle. Love the streams. Where do you go to check the stat rolls? Thanks, man. Thank you, dog. I if I'm unsure of a stat roll, I just Google the item. Click the first link that pops up. But I should probably stop doing that. Because the first link that pops up is a website that drives me fucking crazy. It makes me so mad, but it's always the per first thing on Google. So I click it anyway. Because it's the one with way too many ads, you know? And they're annoying ads too. They like cover the whole screen. And it's just like, oh, fuck off, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I just Google it. I just Google it. I should really just have a tab open at all times that has... It has all the items and their rolls on there. That's a good idea. Maybe I should implement that as well. I was thinking as well, I should write down on just a piece of paper. Because you know how I'm always asking you, like, oh, yeah, like, how do you up a belt again? I should really just write that all down and put it on my wall in front of me. How do you pronounce Miljabras? <laughs> Miljabras? <laughs> Dys dyslexia coming in hot YouTube you just like the class having the most powerful movement skill in the game teleport yeah I mean that's probably the main factor as well like the wombo combo of like having teleport static and then like absolutely busted like skills as well is just like makes sorceress just so tantalizing for me. So completely and utterly tantalizing. Got some of the most broken skills in the game all in one spot. Cold mastery, you know? Like, what the hell's that about? Please open all chest you found a bear room before. I was tempted to go back and pop that one after we got a key. But I was like, no, 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 no. We got terrorized meth. Let's just keep blasting. Let's just keep blasting. But we're keyed up now, dog. We're fucking keyed up. We're ready to cross the border, baby. And by cross the border, I mean find some, some bear runes of our own from that chest. Terrorized meth, he must run it. Exactly, Greco. You got a blast. When there's a good terror zone, you know. Like, terrorized Andy. Like, when it's terrorized Andy, like, say people are messaging me, I usually don't even respond during that hour. Because it's like, that's seconds. That's seconds right there. Across the, co the whole hour, I might lose one run, you know. Oh, it feels good to be back, dudes. It feels good to be back. Three days, bros. We got three days until this competition is over. And the stakes have actually risen. So previously, and still currently, the stakes were whoever loses. Whoever loses has to do a thousand maggot lair runs plus a hundred maggot lair runs for each character that they have killed throughout the season. Up to that point. Which for me is like fucking five or six so like we're closing in on 2000 maggot lair runs if we lose but then i said as a joke in jest to mish if i win i get archie her beloved her beloved stream companion her uh 
her like plush te teddy bear or something like axolotl or something not because i want archie you know not at all because i want archie just because i know i know how much it would hurt her to part with archie but i said it as a joke jill <laughs> i said it as a joke i did not anticipate how to, how to agree to my terms <laughs> so we got archie on the line are you winning schmuck we're winning chooch we're winning baby but okay so we've got like just a little under a 10 percent lead which is a lot because each item is like just under 0.19 percent of the grailer completion but our numbers are inflated because i have spent quite a lot of time crossing off easy items to find you know stuff you find in normal mode so my fear is she's gonna start doing the same and then she is gonna absolutely rally because you can if you're just blasting like normal ant Ariel, you can cross off a lot of items really quick you know and i've already cashed that in she hasn't yet so the numbers on our end are inflated repeating crossbow doom slinger i think we found that and I am the morning and the evening star, Blood Rise. We found that, but we haven't found Bana Star. Yoink! Schmuck's going to the dark side. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I I need Archie. He's gonna be our prisoner of war. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Where's your companion? What companion? <laughs> I'm a lone wolf, man. I'm a Sigma. No, you guys are my companions. Um, do we show you if you lose? Bet, fam. All right, bet. Bet, 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 bet. If I lose, if I lose, we'll, I'll do a Shui. I will do almost 2,000 maggot lair runs as well. How did the Griffins turn out? Uh, you guys have that one covered. Yeah. You guys can fill him in. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, I, I apologize. It just still pains me to talk about. Did you guys like... Did you guys appreciate that? I identified that rare weapon without even being prompted. Without even being prompted. I did it for you guys. Hot garbage? Yeah, it was straight up Gabagool, bro. 15-11. 15 fucking 11. <laughs> I've found three griffins in my life. 16, 10, ethereal, and 15 fucking 11. Like, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. But at least we got it. You know, at least we got it. We crossed it off the grailer. And having 25 FCR on a hat and bonus minus lightning res is still huge. Still huge for us. What the hell is this? God damn. You found a 20 gauge? Me too. In fact, I will raise you one 20 gauge. Two 20 gauge over here. But I did find a 38 gauge, so, you know. All you need is one good one. You just need one good one, you know. <clears throat> A bit like romance, hey fellas. Die, oh, you fool. Balrog skin? Oh. And a unique Balrog skin would be a grailer for us, broskies. What's the best perfect roll item you remember finding? Ooh, great question. I tell you the first one that pops into my head, it's it's by no means the best perfect roll item that I've found, but it was probably the most significant was in my first ever Diablo video, 1000 Mephisto runs. I found an Ashutas, which that in and of itself was super exciting to me because, because like nowadays I play so much that like finding Ashutas is only exciting if it's a good roll, you know what I mean? But back then, it's like I, I'd never really degen magic finding super hard. So like even like little 
little things that wouldn't excite me much, you know, that much nowadays was still super exciting, right? So finding in a shooters in and of itself, I was like, oh, fucking page to the Izzo, bro. We got in a shooters temper, dog. Hell yeah. Should I make a YouTube short about this? Wait, someone's calling me. Oh, it's a friend. I'm just going to answer in Sam's stream. All right, we're back on, baby. We're back on. Tell your friend we love him. <laughs> right. Stop talking to yourself. I I think I know that was incredibly rude. Like I'm working right now. Imagine, imagine answering a call while you're at work. But I feel like I don't know. Like if a friend ever calls me, I want to pick up. You know what I mean? I was just calling to say hi and happy birthday for a couple of weeks ago. What a bitch. Took her two weeks to say happy birthday? Ah. Are you both single? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I missed the context. Excuse me. <laughs> no, me and Misha are just really good friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just good friends. But I do have a date with someone. I know. A miracle. An absolute miracle. Really good friends. Why is that in quotation marks? What's his name? I know, Ben. A date. A date. How? A miracle. You know? Oh! Okay, peel out, peel out, peel out, peel out, peel out. That was too hot. A Dane, is that on the grill yet? Yeah, that's fucking harder to come by than a Zodvrun, fellas. <laughs> Would you consider dating me? She's engaged, man. She is soon to be a married woman. <clears throat> um. So, no. Did you use Mr. Lama's dating profile tips? I haven't heard of them, so not intentionally, but I did a couple of months ago. There has been there has been one or two female friends in my life that have like given me given me some advice, I read my dating profile, being like, okay, get rid of this picture because it makes you look really short. Because I thought it was a nice photo, right? But it's me standing next to my friend, James, who just so happens to be seven foot tall. So just by comparison, you know, I look like a, I look like a freaking eight year old boy. And I'm not a short guy, you know? <laughs> but uh, that photo had to go, apparently, even though I thought I looked great, but uh, you know, and there were a couple of prompts that I needed to rehash or reconsider. So we have had female input on the dating profile. And to be honest, I am probably more likely to take dating app tips from a girl than from uh, Lama. 
Although, whatever he was doing clearly worked. Because there's a baby llama now. Don't use a group photo, no one can tell you who you are. Yeah, I mean, that's just annoying. Especially if it's the first photo. It's a fucking group photo. It's just like, oh my god. It's just annoying. Like, I feel like later on... Like, if you have a couple of photos where it's, like, just you, or you can tell very clearly which one's you, and you have a group photo later on, it's, like, not the end of the world. But if it's the first one off-rip, it's just, like, get fucked, you know? I don't have time for this. You know, I could be finding Manal's right now. You know what I mean, fellas? Lama had a girl come on stream to help him, so same thing. Oh, yeah, well, then, that's... That's different. That's completely different. <laughs> That's completely different. Then it's a lot more reliable information. <clears throat> what was the advice relating to the prompts? Help a boy bro out. It was more just like... I had something there that... I had, I had one there that was kind of like, it was my sense of humor, but it didn't really translate to, you needed to know me and my sense of humor for it to come through. You know what I mean? And it's like, obviously, if you're just seeing someone on a dating profile, you like don't know them yet. So <laughs> it just didn't translate. Uh, that was one of the things. And then another one of the things was someone just saying, this is shit, do better. And I was like, you're right, it is shit. Happy boy, die you fool. Demon hide armor. This is uh, like skin of the flayed one, right? Yeah, skin of the fillet fillet. All right, let's be all out of there. There's too much fire happening. So glad you never had to use dating apps. Yeah, they're the pit. They're the absolute pit. They... They suck. It's like a chore, you know? It's like a chore. <clears throat> but, uh... How old am I? I'm 30. 13, 30, 32. Imagine using tradery to find a girlfriend. Well, I mean, that would play to my strengths more. You know, I could just flip that small charm, become, uh, become wealthy as in high runes. Where the fuck am I going, dudes? I feel like... I'm just teleporting around <laughs> aimlessly. Ha 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 ha, Let's bring Archie home in three days. There's to his new home. You're going on a vacation, Archie. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it there, bro. They've got goblin juice and... Goblin juice. <laughs> Thanks, Boo. Thank you, man. If we do win Archie, I've got a... I've got a plan. I've got a plan for him. As uh, terrifying and ominous as that sounds. So hopefully I can execute on the plan. <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That's why I desperately want to win. Wait, what the f flippery dippery is going on here, bros? Oh, it's got to be one of those weird inside ones. Maybe up here? Am I losing my mind? We've done the full per perimeter, right? I feel like this is the only inside bit I haven't snooped. I'm out. I'm out. I, I, I just don't have the emotional energy for that right now. I, I simply cannot. I simply cannot. I just went by it. Oh. It does sound like something I would do. Let him sit over the back corner over your left shoulder. Oh, yeah, he's going to be in the back. 
He's gonna be in the back. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He's gonna be in the back. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just gotta fucking... You gotta start fresh, bros. You gotta re-roll the seed. You know? In D2R and in life. Although this one is being a little punk-ass bitch as well. Where is the freaking level 3, bros? Wait, I can't reach out while I'm teleporting. We've learned that before. Mag J. I've already said too much, dog. I've already said too much. Oh, I guess we snooped the taloons. You just scrolled back to watch the 1511? Hey, what's up, Lucky? I know. <laughs> I did I did hear something that resonated with me today, though, Lucky. It's Rowan Atkinson, the you know, the guy who plays Mr. Bean. Or really the guy who is Mr. Bean. Uh talking about I think he's talking about like a Shakespeare quote or something about how li life zoomed is a zoomed in tragedy but when you zoom out then it becomes a comedy and I feel like of the three griffins I've found in my entire life being 1610 ethereal and 1511 we just gotta zoom out we gotta zoom out because it is pretty funny, you know? It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like the de-sporting horn all over again. Spirit mask? Okay. No, no, no. Um. I just heard the Discord sound. I wonder if it's Mish saying. No, no, it's not, not Mish. <laughs> As long as she overheard me just <laughs> talking about my plans for Archie. Is this hardcore? It is. It is, it is. That's why we're rolling around with 405 life. It's Charlie Chaplin, actually not Rowan. Oh, it was, it was probably, Rowan was, he was quoting someone. So he was probably quoting Charlie Chaplin. I'm not sure who I said. I'm not sure who I said he was quoting. Yeah, it definitely wasn't Rowan that said it originally. It was someone like famous. I mean, <laughs> historically famous. <laughs> Split mail. Wait, there's an item I haven't found that I should have found. It's like crow core or something. Not that though, ice plank. Oh man, if that was just a brown grim helm. That would be 0.19% Grayler completion right there, bros. Wait, let's see which TZ is up next as well. Glacial Trail. Okay, well, then we'll go into the Hawk Nation after this. Start hawking up some high runes. Did you know there was only like one season of Mr. Mead? I heard that. Isn't that crazy? I heard that. How something could, like, have such a profound, like, intergenerational impact from such a small, you know, from such a small amount of airtime. It's, like, insane. I guess there are also, like, movies, but that was kind of, like, after the fact, you know what I mean? Do have- oh, troll belt! Oh, we still need Trank's belt. Damn. Got a fang. Show us the meaning of Gabagool. Uh, did you see the new Necropolis teaser trailer? No. Man, I've been, uh, I've been off the grid, man. I've been off the grid, just, uh, reconnecting with nature. I.e. at the beach drinking gin for three days. Yeah. Which was great, by the way. It was... It was lovely. I feel like... I feel like I was able to switch off more at the beach than I was when I went to Bali, like, a couple of months ago. Like, when I was at Bali, I was like, I thought a lot of the time I was just kind of thinking about, like, 
streaming and making YouTube stuff. Like when I was at the beach, I was like, I was more, more switched off. I only thought about the fact that I wasn't progressing the grail for like 30% of the time. Touching grass, no way. <laughs> Jumping in this like really large body of Mountain Dew. <clears throat> How many drinks per month on average? Oh, uh, hard to give an average, man, because it's super variable. It's really variable. I go in and out of phases. Like at the moment, I'm not really drinking too much, although I've been drinking for the past three days. But like, except for that. So it just kind of depends of what, what stuff I've got on, you know? Like if I've got uh, things on the weekend with friends or if I'm just just chilling MFing, being a little MFer. I'd want to reliably quantify. Large jump! <clears throat> Fifteen drinks a week equals heavy drinking. All right, well, no need to bring my weight into it, dog. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> calling me in, calling me fat and an alcoholic in the same sentence. Mike, how do you sit on the chair? At the moment, I'm sitting on it with like one of my knees up. Um, like a little gremlin. Knee cam. And, oh, ooh, spectral shard. That's probably why I'm adjusting a lot, is because, like, I'm, I'm swapping knees. And making sure my <laughs> underlying leg doesn't go completely numb. Yeah. You find yourself adjusting all the time and mostly end up cross-legged. Uh, until the foot goes numb. <laughs> oh, Josh. Bro. <laughs> Bro, I hadn't read the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm right there with you. It kind of makes me look like a little hunched over gremlin when I'm sitting like this. But when I'm focused, hocus pocus focused, dialed in, I'm not allowed to sit like this. Because when I sit like this, automatically in my brain, it's like, okay, we're chilling, you know? We're just like, we're just relaxing. So, I'm not allowed to assume this position when I'm like going into Uber Tristan, for example. You gonna stream the Elden Ring DLC? Mm. I haven't decided, but probably not. I'm absolutely gonna play it. You best believe I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna play the shit out of it. But I don't know if I'll stream it. Sometimes it's nice just to have, like... Something to yourself, you know? But, you know, maybe. We'll see. I haven't really thought about it too much. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm really good. Thanks, man. I hope you're good, too. <clears throat> um, small question. What are you looking for when you pick up big charms? What are the good roles? Great question. So, on softcore, I don't usually pick up large charms, even though I know I'm going to get crucified for that. But because we're on hardcore, and, you know... A good charm can be really useful just for increasing your survivability. Um, I'm more inclined to pick up large charms. But mainly what I'm looking for is one with, like, plus maximum damage, plus attack rating, and then plus something else as well. Like, bonus to strength, bonus to dexterity, ooh, essence, bonus to life. Um... But you can also get, like, all res on them as well, which, is, which can be pretty decent. And with these grand charms, the main thing I'm looking for is, you know, plus the skills. Ow! 
That's a pretty decent one, though. One off perfect on the gold find. Melee large charms are nice. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, when I'm on softcore, not hardcore, I'd usually just skip leave large charms. Even though I know there are some of them that can be super valuable, especially with dueling, but I just can't be fucked, you know, to tell you the truth. You should 100% stream it. We'll see. We'll see. I've never played a, uh, I've never played a From Software game on PC before. Always just played on PlayStation. But I'm sure I could just hook up the controller or something or stream from the PlayStation somehow. Please, for the love of God, get 1% more magic fight. I know it's <laughs> making me uncomfortable over here. It's unsettling. What we really need- Oh, So close to a crown of ages! What we really need is we need to get a red essence so we can respec and fix the stats and fix the, uh, the skill point that I lost. So after this terror zone, maybe we'll farm that red essence and then we'll do the regretty spaghetti and then we'll go into the Hawk Nation. You can see I've been doing some bail runs as well. Don't play Elden Ring on a keyboard, it's so terrible. Yeah, I feel like... I would find that very annoying, since I'm just so used to playing... playing on, uh, controller. Where am I going? <clears throat> Xbox controller is perfect for PC. I only have PlayStation controller, but the PlayStation 5 controller is so nice. It feels so good in your hands. Such a nice hand feel. Oh, yup. Which is better, Obsession vs. Infinity Scythe? Ooh. Depends who you ask. I mean, a lot of it just comes down to personal preference. And it also comes down to where you're farming. Personally, 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 I prefer Infinity. That is my personal preference. But a, a nice rule of thumb is, like, if you're clearing mobs that are lightning immune, and you break that immunity with the Sunder, then minus lightning res, then Infinity's better hands down. But if you're not clearing mobs that are lightning immune, you know, like for cows, for example, then it becomes more of a, you know, more of a, more of a, more of a discussion. <laughs> but my personal preference is infinity, but you know, at the end of the day, if they both slap, then it's like, it's so, you're splitting hairs, you know what I mean? Ring! Nah. Mm -hmm. Did I make a new game? I don't think so, eh? Oh, hell yeah, you're back. Hey, Chin, you're back. It feels good to be here, Thunderlips. It feels good to be here. <laughs> Just absolutely degenning D2 for the next two days, three days, plus, 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 plus. Or maybe what we'll do is, is we'll degen, we'll degen D2 for the next three days. What, when we bring home this Grail race, and then I'll, and then I'll spend like two days editing together a, the Trav video. Plus all the other drops we would have found. Mesh booties! Silk weave. And then we'll go back to DJing Diablo. <laughs> you can drink 15 in a day, Justin. <laughs> That's your weekly quarter in one day. <laughs> Looking fresh, Mark. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm not the hugest fan of this haircut, but it's a very functional haircut, which I do like. I do like things being functional. 
you know, functional in the sense that it's quite short, so it's gonna, it's gonna be longer before I need to get a he it cut again. And then also, it is literally zero maintenance, which I like as well. But I feel like it'll look a little bit better when it's a bit more grown out, but, um, the good news is hair does grow. So, all we gotta do is wait, bros. We just gotta play that waiting game. You'll love it in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I reckon. I think so too. Ornate plate. You always hate haircuts at first. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got a bit of sun on the weekend as well. So maybe that's coming through. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. You're finding pure dog? I know, bro. <laughs> like, literally, what have we done? 50 minutes of terrorized Maffy boy? We've got one essence to show for it. One essence to show for it. Haven't crossed anything off the Grailer. But hits on the Grailer, I've said this every stream, but it's only becoming more and more true. They are going to become more few and far between. Because there are only... What are there? There are only 139 items that we haven't found out of like 550. My brothers have escaped you. Scale mail? Wait. Crow call? Hawk mail. Ow. Third tells of the season? Ow, Katans. I actually do kind of need that ort. Ort, 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 ort. What's my favorite junk fruit? Oh, great question, man. I guess it changes on the mood, you know? Changes on the mood. Recently, I've been very much in enjoying the burritos, the burrito. Um, but I would say on the whole, I'm a big burger guy. I'm a very big burger guy. Like just a hamburger with pickles. And like maybe jalupes in there as well, jalapenos, and like onions and stuff. I'm a big hamburger guy. So if I was to pick one for the rest of my life, it would be that. Light belt, full helm. Both of these surely we found. Snake cord, dust tape. I don't think we found any of the elite belts, like Nosferatu's Arachnid Smash for Dungos, and a Dungos would actually be super duper nice for the barb, a Rax would be super duper nice for the source. So, hopefully we can cross one of those off. Oh! Whoa, ho, ho. oh my god. Focus, schmuck. Dial in, bro. Dial in. Holy shitballs. That is terrifying. Freaking might little broskies. Almost died to the same guy twice. Hellforge plate is Nadja's. Found that. Warsword is Culwin's. Espadon, we found. Granite Vormir. Ow. Give me the Grailers, bro. Found T-Strokes and thought you're going to make a Zon, then saw plus two skills. Ah, oh, damn. T-Strokes is still so good, though, right? Because it gives, like, minus enemy lightning res. Right, 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 right. It's still great. In fact, I was thinking about making a Zon just in case there's terrorized cows, then we could just, like, melt them. But I think since the... Grail deadline is so rapidly approaching, it's probably not worth. And instead, if there's terrorized cows, we just do it as Sork. Yes. Heatstroke is better now with Sunder? Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Like, basically, any item that gives minus res got better with Sunder Charms. Keystrokes being one of them. Because I used to be a Titans man, pre-Sunder. 
but now I'm the converted. Now I'm the converted. I'm a T-Strokes man now. Ketchup on burgers or not? Yeah, yeah, I like ketchup. Yeah, I'm a big ketchup guy. Like, on stuff. I don't just eat it straight like G-Stacks. You know. Unless it's a weekend. Then you never know what's gonna go down my gullet. Yeah. Whoa! Be nice if they had an Act 1 Merc that would could use jabs. That would be sick. Yeah, or maybe an Act 4 Merc that could use jabs or something like that. Although, you know, on a rogue would make more sense thematically. You're not wrong. Cloudy Sphere. Do we have a hundred bear runes right here, unidentified? No, we don't. You could have possibly foreseen that happening. Burgess Dream went. <laughs> Mug bang for the boys. <laughs> Mug bang for the boys. Bro, there's nothing more special a moment to squeeze ketchup down your gullet. <laughs> Damn, bro. You're telling me I've been missing out on these special moments my whole life? Sorry, boys. I might just have to end the stream early. I have to go see about a ketchup bottle. Pirate Club. That's uh the pre-buff one, right? That you make enchant with? Yeah, Demon Limb. We found it. We got one of those in stash, so. Look how he makes his bed. He make Betty makes great burgers. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. But I wouldn't do this if I was left to my own devices. This is purely for the camera. Everything online is fake. You know? This is just... This is just for you guys. So you don't have to stare at a messy... Messy bed in the background. Like, if it was just me left alone to my own devices, you best believe that that aesthetic-looking cover would not be there. That blue blankie would be sprawled over the floor. Is this Cuckoo? Because that's a Grailer if this is Cuckoo. That's a Grailer. Nice. Okay. We're going at one Grailer an hour at the moment. Beautiful. Now we've got all exceptional bows. In fact, there's only two bows that we're missing. Hellclap and Windforce. One is not like the other. And we got to do the maintenance, hey? The logistics of this one. 27479 four, all right. Must be. You love that bow? It's pretty fire. I used to like that a lot as a kid, hey? I used to really like that as a kid. Oh! Thanavik, you're a poor man in Diablo. I'd saw a good dog, that means the only way is up. But out of everything you managed to found, you found an SOJ sick. In your professional opinion, that is hilarious to call me a professional, but uh, I'm here for it. Uh, do I keep or trade? Hmm. I think there is no wrong answer there, dog, which is probably frustrating. Ooh, Ahmed, repeating crossbow. But that's the truth. If you find yourself, you know, emotionally attached to the SOJ because you found it yourself, then I would resonate with that for sure. That's what often happens with, with me. Everything I've found myself, I don't want to trade it because I found it and I like it, you know? It's a memory that I just want to keep forever. So that makes complete, complete logical sense. But then also, if you wanted to flip that dip, 
and uh, get yourself some get a better gear so you could find more SOJs in the future. That would also make sense as well. So the good good news is you can't lose. You cannot lose. <clears throat> Solo self found hardcore. It's hardcore for sure. And it's mostly solo self-found. I have traded a couple of things. Uh, I haven't traded for anything significant, though. I don't think. I've traded for a couple of keys here and there. I traded for the Ombrun that we made our call to arms with. And... What else did I trade for? I think that's it. Oh, I traded for the low. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> yeah, I traded for the low to make our grief. Yeah. Just a low rune. Yeah, exactly. Just that little chestnut. <laughs> Just that build enabling rune. But apart from that. <laughs> but every, everything except for the call to arms we're wearing now, we found ourselves. The griffins, the spirit, the crescent moon, the viper magi. Our rare booties. Our Trang's gloves, which should probably be Mage Fists. I haven't traded the 25 yet? No, I haven't. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. It's just sitting there, just collecting dust. Just like the Mona Lisa. Ah, it's a shame we missed this, this one terrorized. Oh, well. Hatchet and a Mortal King's booties. Don't really need any of that stuff. I'll check that javelin for you, bros. And for me. Six forties. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. We need a red essence. So I reckon we do a couple of chaos runs, and then we dive into Hawk Nation, bros. Because I would like to respec this chick just so we can get it a little bit more optimized. And, you know, anything can happen in chaos. But first of all, let's see what the next TZ is after Glacial. Ooh! <laughs> Glacial for the next hour, and then we got Tal's Tombs. Let's freaking go, boys. It is time to stock up on some TP motherfucking scrolls. Hell yeah, dog. Okay. Okay. So, who's the plan? Chaos, Red Essence, Hawk Nation, Terrorized Tombs, Tombs, fucking Duriel Runs for the boys. You son of a bitch. I'm in. That is a hot to trot Terror Zone, man. Someone posted a 25 small charm on JSP. The offer is 1k farm gold. I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what 1k farm gold kind of translates to. How many Manals is that? How many bear runes is that? 1,000 farm gold. There is around 600. Oh, well, that's a fucking shit offer. 1k form gold. <laughs> was it on softcore or is it on hardcore? Because the price is probably different. Diara. Because on JS, on uh, Tradery, they were going for 10 jar runes. So. You know. Gotta be careful of the fanat here. I remember off the dome, but it's like 1 in 14 that we get an essence. I remember exactly what it is off the dome. But basically, if we don't find one this run, then we got scammed. Okay, just gotta be careful here. Nice, 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 nice! Free up. Oh, 
So of course, a thousand forum gold is like 10 bear runes. That's more like it. Essence? No. Oh, give him a shred instead. So you only care about this if it's ethereal, right? Or uh, throw mastery? I think so. Why don't you seal pop when not terrorize? Um, because the monsters that can give you TC87s in chaos are the champion mobs. So I want to kill the champion mobs. Yeah. Like the seal bosses? Oh, what am I doing? And Diablo can't give you the TC87s. But to be honest, I'm kind of not really thinking about what I'm doing too much, you know. Just going, just going with the flow. Why don't we just chill here? Let them come to us. Die, you fools. Did you see Giant Smash the Pies this week? Bro, I saw every game of footy this week. I watched it all. It's so good to have footy back. I wish there was more. Yeah, Giants, I would say for sure, are Premiership favorites. Previously, before this round, I was kind of like, oh yeah, Giants, but then also Brisbane as well. But for now, like for me, Giants looked a lot better than Brisbane. And uh, Brisbane lost. Dude, Carlton in a fucking huge comeback. That was such a dope game. It was like such a sick game of footy. Yeah, Giants look good as, man. They look hungry. Grim Wand? Is that Umis? Umis. I found that like 800 million times. Haven't found Black Hand's key, though. Kim Kardashian had a pretty big comeback. Yeah, a true come on back story. Where's that from again? <laughs> Such a good line. <laughs> it's context, I promise. <laughs> a little bit risque, but also hilarious. Free life. Just missing one crucial component. Parks and Rec, there we go. I've never actually watched Parks and Rec, I've just seen clips. Have you found an Unearthed World into D-Web? I've found it only once before. And it was actually... Right here. Right here. A little square right there. But it was on single player. So I haven't found it on... On ladder this season. So that would be a huge grailer. That would be a huge get. What am I doing? I have no idea how Brisbane bottled that. Yeah, it was... Yeah. It was... Not good. It was not good. I feel like Carlton really didn't change that much either. You know, it's not like they made some, like, huge adjustment. Or maybe they did and I just, like, didn't see it. But they just started winning. You know? They just started kicking goals, and then they kept on kicking. And homeboy Harry Mackay, he does he no longer has the yips. Fucking dope. I feel I felt bad for Harry, you know, when he was just missing goal after goal from ten meters out. I felt bad for the poor guy, <laughs> you know, secondhand embarrassment. I could be a Mackay brother. Uh, thank you, I guess. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Dude, you know how like one in a hundred, these guys spawn right here? That happened to me earlier today. 
it was terrifying. So now every time I hit that seal, I'm really panicky. I don't know where to stand, you know? It's like I'm at a party in real life. Where do I stand? What do I do with my hands? Hi, I'm Schmuck. I mean, I'm Jesse. I mean, <laughs> nice to meet you. I guess, I, I don't know if people want six nados in hardcore. I don't know. Like, would people, like, PVMing use six nados? They just use some fucking huge... Huge yellow pelt. Like the video, you schmucks. <laughs> you filthy animals. Give me the red! Oh, not you. I was telling him to give me the red. <laughs> you! You give me the red. Give me that too. Have I watched Breaking Bad? I have! I have, I have, I have. I watched it a long, 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 long time ago. Before the wind, before the snow. Lived a man, lived a man, lived a freak of nature named Surf Psycho. No, I... It's been so, so long ago that I've forgotten a lot of stuff. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I didn't, like, love it as much as everyone else did. But I thought it was great. You know what I mean? I thought it was a great show. That there. Freddy, what's up, homie? The grief roll. Well, the griffins roll was full of grief, dog. 1511. <laughs> but it's not ethereal. We must remember that. It's not ethereal. <laughs> so it's not gonna break on us like our last grief did. I mean, griffins. Uh, is this a new game? I think it has to be. Griffins, yeah, there it is. What am I doing here, honestly? Nice, griffins, thanks, man. It's, it's nice enough. It's nice enough. Oh man, there's so much dopamine when you see that Griffin's on the ground though. Holy moly. Holy moly, it was a nice way to start the day. A bloody lovely way to start the day, in fact. We should probably change... Change the title of the stream at some point. Since we are no longer in Terrorized Durance. And we no longer have a griffin to that needs identifying. Maybe after this run, we'll uh, do a little swap arena. Hacking into griffins, <laughs> bro. Honestly, sometimes running terrorized catacombs feels like hacking. This. This morning's terrorized catacombs, I only got it for 50 minutes. It was really probably like 45 because I had to like turn on my computer and stuff. And oh boy was it filthy. I found... Okay, okay. It's, it's so gross. There was one run that I got a Ravenlaw and a Hoz, both from Andy. Then not long after that, I got a Tal's armor from a mob next to Andy that died when she died. Then, not long after that, I got the Griffins. Then, not long after that, I got a Hoz and an Azerath in the same run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, they spawned there. That's so scary. Hoz and a freaking Ravenlaw in the same run, followed by Hoz and Azerath in the same run. And then not long after that, I found a second Tal's armor. And then not long after that, I found the fucking grandfather. In like 45 minutes. Of uh, terrorized catacombs. With like 260 magic find. And like my runs were fast. Like they were less than a minute. But they weren't super fast because I was in Nova. 
I was in Nova and I only had minus lightning res from Crescent Moon at the time. They weren't like fireball runs, you know, or even cold runs. Lock of a schmuck, yeah. As to terrorize catacombs, man. That's why we do it. It's absolutely grotte. And then I also found Atma's amulet, which was a gray there as well. Found two of those, in fact. I swear they buff your magic find if you stay away for a while. They could, honestly, man. <laughs> that is a bit of a... Uh, What's the word? Qualitative evidence or something. Go away, for, go away for three fucking days and they have a griffin's drop. It is a reach as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Both are true. Both are true. I swear to God... Diablo gamers are the most superstitious of any gamers, and I'm kind of here for it, you know? I, we're so superstitious. <laughs> no, 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 I swear to god I got better drops on P3 than, uh... <laughs> I swear to god magic finds a scam. If I run around this three times and before I identify it, then it'll be better. But, you know, some of that stuff has a foundation. With, like, seed generation and RNG generation that's not actually RNG. It's, like, you know, factors in these preconditions. So, um, not all of the superstition is unfounded. You break every urn. Because one time an urn gave you a Mang Songs. Something like that. Magic Find's kind of a scam. We found a near perfect... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I should kill this guy and then read, hey? We found a near perfect Griffins with 15 Magic Find? Yeah, I mean, of course you can find great stuff with no Magic Find. But I just feel like scam is the wrong word, you know? Like, I feel like there are situations where it's significance is, you know, overhyped. But I, I just don't think scam, scam is a misleading word. You know? There's definitely hardcore diminishing returns, for sure. I remember back in the day when folks would add jewels to cube when making cows to give better drops. Oh my god, the sacrifice. <laughs> A sacrifice for the old gods. <sighs> yeah, or you guys were telling me, oh, it worked. Oh, the sacrifice. <laughs> oh, ye old gods. Man, I have been looking for this all fucking day. Unironically, I would have done about 50 chaos runs. Um, okay, now we can regret his spaghetti and, uh, fix our shit, which has been so royally bricked. Um, yeah, you guys were telling me about how back in the day people would never open a town portal in Bale's throne room, because they thought it bricked the drops. Which is something that, like, kind of vaguely rings a bell. Like, I, but I don't really remember it. But when you guys told me about it, I was like, I, I can kind of remember that. But I don't know if I'm just making it up. All right, let's see here. So we want to take this off because that's got strength on it. And the rest is fine. I think we should... Swap to Mage Fist. I'm just not exactly sure where I put them. There's a reasonable chance that I just tossed them, honestly. That is this. Oh, it's probably in stash clear. Oh, it's probably in one of these, actually. I had to clear the stash before uh, 
doing the thing with Kano. Let's get the 25s. Free up the boot and make sure skills and stuff are maxed out. Good call. Great call. Okay. So. We're going to need a truckload of strength because we're using spirits. I think it's fine to factor in the five attributes from the Maras. Like... Because we're going to be wearing that for a long time anyway. We don't have strength there, do we? Okie dokie. And personally... Personally, personally, personally... I like putting some points into Vitality. Just for the qual. I honestly might even put a little bit more into Vitality. Since we have an SOJ on, which helps a lot with our mana. Let's get that up to 700. Let's do that. Now skill points. Let's go one frozen since we're hardcore gamers. One warmth. I'll try not do the dumb double click again. One thunderstorm. Max this. Okay, max static, max nova. And we'll max this. And I think the rest just go into energy shield. I think we're good to go. Definitely got teleport. There we go. Now we just got to get five more levels and then we're capped out. Just got to get to 96. Beautiful. And we have 79 absorbed from the energy shield. Sick. Bandedly tastic, bros. That feels better, and we can chuck a ring on. So, res... Lightning res is a bit bricked. 32. So we could fix the lightning res. Magic find is a little bit bricked, 193. I like that a bit higher. And then a B... We could chuck on a BK as well, honestly. So there's a lot of different ways we can play it. BK would be pretty hot to trot. We could just go MF. Or we could do a good one that gives us nice lightning res and then some other stuff as well. Let's see. It would be dope if we had like a lightning res life magic find rare ring. That would be best case. That's a lot of lightning res there. Um, hmm. Ah. I'm tempted just to BK. <laughs> it does mean our lightning rays will be only 32. But we're at Nova, you know? And BK gives us life. It gives us more dupes. It's like a significant amount more dupes. Like extra 200 per Nova. It is greedy. It is me being a greedy little hobbitses. But let's do it. Let's do it. Up next is only tombs anyway, so... We just have to deal with the beetles. <laughs> and all of their lightning damage. <laughs> But for the next like 40 or so, let's uh, let's enter the Hawk Nation, shall we, fellas? Hawk Nation! We just gotta move this Annie over. One is Tatus. <laughs> Boil him, mash him, stick him in his stew. And we'll move over the MF shit as well.
Uh, let's just bother. Let's just do the the big daddy ones. Five and up. And then that deeds is way better. We'll chuck that one over as well. All right, got that there. Yep. <clears throat> Gabagool! Which means... We move that over there for the Feng Shui. Oh, I'm missing one. Oh, new brew! The feng shui! Should have moved one, one more over. Oh, well, we'll just find a shitty one and use that instead. And then two... 238 here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... Get that counter going. That one. All right, we're cooking, bros. Nice. Hawk Nation feels good to be back. Oh, Geeds! I forgot about the Geeds. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Good call. Swap those over. Two forty-four. Be able to fall. All right. Let me just remember what's going on here. Yeah, I found a High Lords. Found that? God, I can't remember where I found that. I found that from Terrorized Jail, actually. I was just... Terrorized Jail, I used to not like it, but it's pretty decent. You know, you just freaking tally around, kill the champion mobs, and mobs your uncle. Alright. You're beating me, sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm invested, Joshy boy. I want Archie so bad. I need him. I need him. Oh, that Ord rune could have been an Om rune so easily. If literally just 67%. Whoa. Pretty decent. Not decent enough, though. 67% of those letters were different than would be in Om City, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Early unique ring, ascetic zoom. Wait, don't go there. I hate that how there's a hole there. It's driving me crazy. Oh, Manals. That's driving me crazy as well, bros. Trash. <laughs> Let's crank up that counter. <laughs> oh, maybe we can use a Manal to plug the hole, actually. There we go, that's all you're fucking good for. Stupid ass noodle head. That's the most useful Minalta's ever been. Yeah, let's have a snoop a doop at these as well. Summoning with 92 life. Holy. Molly, molly, molly. That's a lot of life. 92. I'm back. What did you miss? You missed. <laughs> you missed a Minalt. And you missed one errant. S red essence. So basically nothing at all. <clears throat> Wait, we're going here now. I keep pressing the buttons to like to like turn my energy shield on and my frozen armor. <laughs> it's like, oh wait. <laughs> we're hawking now. Oh man, it feels good to be back here. I just love the playstyle of Berserk, Barb, and Trav. You just go up, you right click stuff, and then you hawk their corpses, you know? It's just so simple. It's so beautifully simple and therapeutic. A jewel. Okay, okay. Nah. 
You want to make a bob now? Dude, I... Just specifically running Trav makes me love bobs. Literally just for here. I don't really... I feel like I could learn to love running the pits. But... Right now, it's just Trav... Trav, 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 Trav. You, like, just run on over. You smack him, you hawk him. I'm in my happy state when I'm here. This is my happy place. Oh, hello there. Let's just uh, D1 door strat these bros. We also need a token for this guy. Because... We need to give him more strength. So he doesn't have to wear IK belt. So we could put something different on him. Like, for example, when we find a Vidungos, we'll be able to put that on instead. Right now, we're locked in on this belt. Amuleta. But we are, again, only one Red Essence away. <clears throat> Chaos is terrorized in 31 minutes. Maybe on single player. We've got Tombs up next on online in my time zone which is a great great terror zone in and of itself if you're a if you've got nova or something that does heaps of good aoe damage so we're gonna just be hawking up a storm for the next 30 or so and then we're gonna switch over to that cross off a couple more grailers stock up on tp scrolls and then we're good to go whoops Oops! Please don't have despawned my my corpses. My bad, had to refresh the page. Oh, it's a good dog. Oh, good, homie slifed. I wonder when you last refreshed it. Hopefully it was a long time ago, so there's a chance that it swings back around to chaos. Hey, <laughs> I mean, they're two twenties. They're 220s with like a reasonably low strength requirement and a little bit of bonus fire res. So, we probably might keep these for personal use. What do you reckon, bros? They're probably worth about a... Uh, um rune, maybe? Say an um? Okay. Nothing to write home about. A dece, you know. Good for personal use. Kind of surprised, honestly, I haven't found Titans or T-Strokes yet. Which is kind of wild to me. Like, we found a fucking Griffins and a Grandfather, but not a Titans. Like, that is nuts. I haven't pressed the timer in a, a while. <laughs> you could get a fancy IO, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a low rune with an eye. Is this ladder? It is. It is, it is, it is. Not worth anything because you can buy 320s. Yeah, but it's still hard to buy 320s, you know? Like, so time intensive to buy 320s, I feel. But that being said, I have never done it before. But I have tried to buy them before, and then I gave up. I, well, I got bored, and then I gave up. Forty lifer. Huh? Sure, I'm sure there's stuff I'm missing there. It takes two hours. It's annoying. Yeah, you know what would be interesting if if there was like a If there was kind of like a standardized unit or standardized value of how much each hour of grinding in Diablo 2 is worth. You know what I mean? Like, for example, like on average, an hour of Diablo 2 is like worth a Malrune. 
And I feel like you could almost in infer that from the price of 320s. If on average it takes two hours. Picking up what I'm putting down? Because I'm not sure that I am myself. And... Yeah, we go. Good morning, Schmuck. Did you ID the Griffins? We did, Juno. I was like, good morning, good morning, good morning. I was going to show you, but uh, that's not a Griffins. It was horrible. Yeah, it was a 1511. Absolutely horrible, but it is very nice to have. It's still a, a massive upgrade, but uh, <laughs> hopefully the next Griffins we find will be even more of an upgrade. Emuleta. Die, you fool. Oh, yep. Plus sanity tax. True, yes. Just a service fee. A service fee for actually doing the shopping for two hours. Absolutely. Sanity tax, that's a good name. I mean, if there was a sanity tax, then... I'd be fucking rich, lads. Honestly, let's be honest. I would be rolling in the doll. Rolling in the high runes. For how many brain cells I have uh, given up to the old gods. How do you look up which terror zones are coming up? I use this site called D2 Emu. There we go. There is also, you know, great information about internet service providers. But uh, d2emu.com, and it shows you the next two. Like the current one, and then the one after that. I don't know if there's a way that you can see further than that online. But I do know that there is like a full calendar for single player. Someone a lot smarter than me has, you know, nutted out. No ad block. No, I disabled it for something. And I hadn't re I haven't re-enabled it yet, but I definitely should. I disabled it for some reason and didn't rejig it. But uh, it's it's kind of funny because the ad docks me sometimes. Cause they're personalized. <laughs> you know, they've got all of my information. The ads are fucking just listing stores in fucking my surrounding suburbs. And it's like, could you not? <laughs> could you please not do that? <laughs> like, one, could you just not take all of my information? And two, could you please not broadcast it, you know, live on stream? Although it would be a funny way to dox yourself, to be honest, from a fucking ad. Pretty funny. Don't open your search history. Nah, my search history is good. Search history is good. Literally on this computer, all I ever do is like play video games and edit videos. Now on my other computer. Ooh -wee. I'm just kidding. This is my only computer. Got nothing to hide. Ring! Hey, Canadian, good morning, man. Welcome to Stram. It's uh, super late at night in Canada, right? Super duper late. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Get so excited when I see the 10 FCR plus stuff. But unfortunately, this plus stuff fucking sucked. Raw attack rating is much better than percentage attack rating. Uh, peel out. Make like a tree and leaf. 
I think I'd be scared if some internet widows knew where I lived. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you gotta be... You gotta be prudent online, for sure. Because you just never know. You know? Like, 395 of you guys are probably all legends. You know? Don't need to worry. Just chill. Chill, people. But it only takes one. You know, it only takes one slightly unhinged person to cause a lot of damage. You're the bad apple. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The double bluff strategy. Broadsword. Am rune. I'm not picking up Ams at the moment, but I am picking up Orts and Thals and Hells. The spirit rerolls. I'm stocked up on Ams. For the moment. I feel like I find way more Ams than Thals. Like way, way more. Hey. Realize there's so many of you guys just chilling here in this nook. So rude. Didn't even get an invite to the nook party. Love me a good nook. Hmm, level four holy bolt charges. Delicious. What's the ring in the inventory? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. That is our stopgap. Have you ever, ever felt like this? No, this is a Manald, but this hole in the small charms was causing an inordinate amount of damage to my mental clarity. So, we have a Manald filling the hole. Which is literally the most use a Manald ring has ever been in the history of Diablo 2. What do you call a group of people hanging out in a nook? I don't know what you guys call it over there, but here, over here, we call that a crime scene. Nothing good ever comes from a bunch of people loitering in a nook. You know? <clears throat> Next minute, all but one of them are dead. And there's this suspicious man wearing a green hat humping their corpses. Hop, hop, hop. And uh, nothing here, right, dudes? Let's give these a little snoop. Alvin, my guy, bro, we're getting close over there, man. Is it your last thousand today, dog? Of the, of the key runs. Also, thank, thank you, thank you for the haircut compliment. I'm not the biggest fan, but the good news is the hair will grow. The hair will grow out. It'll grow back. Dude, I can't believe it, man. Your mental fortitude is insane. Doing key runs for 80 days straight. It is. Honestly. Just so impressive. So freaking impressive, dude. Crazy. Madness but impressive. Is it fortitude or is it madness? <laughs> this is Sparta! I reckon a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Huanins? Found one of those. Not too interested in Huanins. Next run will drop a pole, calling it now. Oh, he's calling the pull drop. Nice. You haven't found one for 80 days? Oh, he's found a lot of keys. He's found a lot of keys. <laughs> he's closing in on 3,000 keys. 
literally 10 times more keys than when I farmed 100 torches. Quick maths. That was straight off the dome, baby. Take that, Mrs. Kahoot. My old mesh teacher from year seven just catching strays. She was actually a really good teacher. <laughs> that was uncalled for. I apologize. If Mrs. Kahoot is tuning into this stream, then uh, I apologize. And thank you for your service. Falcon. Next minute, internet sleuths googling Mrs. Kahoot. Which high schools did she teach at? What was the year level <laughs> for a 30 year old? Cross reference every year seven in the school photo to a picture of my face, and then bam, Bob's your uncle, and we got a dox on our hands. It's Miss Kahoot now. Oh my. Oh my. You need some damn schmuck luck? Hey, dog. I need some fucking schmuck luck right now, too. I feel like we've found sweet fuck all this stream. But, uh, the stream is young. The stream is, is young. We've only crossed one thing off the grailer. And I can't even remember what it was. Oh, Cuckoo. How can I forget that? Cuckoo. I mean, we did find that Manal. That was pretty busted. Ooh! Facet! Oh, oh, oh! I was ooing about the J mod, but we got a facet. Okay, 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 okay. Aesthetic zoom, aesthetic zoom. We need this to be anything but a cold facet. Anything but a cold facet. I don't care if it's 3-3, although I'd prefer it to be 5-5. Five, five. Oh, yes. Yes. 4-5 lightning facet. We could put this in the Griffins. That's so good. We can put that in the Griffins. That's nice. That's really nice. Yes. And that's a great level. Yes. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Okay. Other light facet. Nice. Now we just need poison and fire facet. Okay, wait. Let's get out of here where it's safe. 7468. Seven, four, six, eight. Nope, that's six, nine schmuck. Little Freudian slip. Don't mind me. Get your mind out of the gutter, broski. Save that for the second computer. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a shiny rock. Yeah, but this is good shiny. Oh, there's a grandfather. Here it is. Evidence. The evidence. I think I've only found this, this is the third time I've found it. And then here's an Azerath. I also got a Griswold from Terrorized Andy. She's just fucking sharing me with gifts. Tells, found a second Mavs Diadem from her. Nice, dude. Where did I put it? Let's put it here. What? Oh, I've been accidentally using this this whole time. Oh, oh my God. I didn't even realize. Oh. Oh. I thought it disappeared for a second. Oh. I thought it poofed. I thought, I thought we got hacked for a second. Someone realized that the password to my Blizzard account was Mrs. Kahoot. And they straight up yoinked the freaking 10 jar small charm. But alas, yet again, it was just my own stupidity. But unfortunately, Brucey boy, this means that we need a second Manal to plug that hole. Mm, Manal, Manal, Manal. I don't have a second Manal. I must have had a Manal cleansing at some point in time. Oh well. We'll just have to find another. But thank you so much, Bruce, man. Thank you, dog. Really appreciate it. Oh man, that was terrifying. <laughs> I literally thought it disappeared. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Just have two open slots. Oh, that would kill me. That would kill me. We just got to get more of the... Like, when we switch back to Hawk Nation after... After terrorized tombs, we'll just bring over two more, like, shitty magic finding uh, charms. Did I just pick up a Balrog Blade by accident? Is this the Flame Bellow? Yeah. Composite Bow. We don't need, but a freaking Skelda's Ire would be huge. And uh, Jewelers, Whale? Damn, dude. <laughs> don't worry, Cancel will soon jump in human now. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. Right after that pull that's just in the oven. <laughs> Any people trying Mrs. Coot password right now? <laughs> <But this year. laughs> Sorry guys, I just gotta urgently end the stream. Are you done with D4? Um Probably Probably. I mean Whenever they do an update that is kind of like big enough for me to care about. Then I'll go back and play it to test it out. But I don't think I'll ever play D4 like long term. You know what I mean? It would take something pretty big for me to go back and get stuck into it properly. You know what I mean? D4 is more of a game that if I'm playing it, it's just like kind of off stream. I'm watching YouTube at the same time and I'm not using my brain at all. You know, it's just like kind of just a nice chill non-thinky game for me. But at the moment, like instead of like other games have taken up that spot. So like now my chill non-thinky game right now is uh, TFT. I want a bit of a TFT kick at the moment. Yeah, I don't know, because they're going to come out with, like, some DLC eventually, right? So I don't know if I'm going to play that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to test that out. So, we'll see. I mean, even with Season 4, that's when they're meant to do the big item overhaul. So maybe I'll... Uh, play around with it a bit and see see how that feels but yeah not much to do in d4 for you yeah yeah i mean you could easily say the same thing about d2 couldn't you but <laughs> it's just how it good it feels in d2 you know you're doing the same thing over and over again but it still feels good and for me, it's like in D4, it's kind of like, there's not all that much to do, but for me, the bigger problem is like, it doesn't feel as satisfying as other games. <clears throat> but that's, that's just me, and I'm not the target audience for it, you know? Which is, which is okay. Can't wait for PoE 2. Yeah, that's going to be sick. That looks dope as an artichoke, doesn't it? Looks so freaking good. I love the idea of a more, like, kind of stripped back almost PoE. Where you're not, like, you're not just, like, melting entire screens immediately, you know? The power has not yet crept. It will creep, absolutely. Power creep is inevitable, but it hasn't crept yet. Schmuck's a pyro main, I know it. Pyro main. 
Is that from... Oh, you're talking about Team Fortress 2. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, Team Fight Tactics. Like the auto chess battler in League of Legends engine. Or well, it's like in League of Legends. Yeah, I love auto chess games. I love, love, love auto chess games. I find them so therapeutic, you know. They're not just like super like chill, because it's like you do your turn and then you just like chill. And you can like select the next YouTube video to watch, or you can like, I don't know, make your bed, or you can like think about your next turn. Yeah. So I often, I mean, it depends what's terrorized. Like I often, like if I'm like smacking Diablo really hard, if I'm, if I play like Diablo for just like, I don't know, like 12 hours straight or something, then I will, as a way of decompressing from my very stressful, you know, Diablo schedule, play more video games. <laughs> <laughs> Play around a round of two of TFT. <laughs> I, I never really got into um, Team Fortress 2. I know my older brother played it quite a bit. I, 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 I played around with it when I was a kid. But yeah, I was more of a heavy main. You're, you're bang on. That's the guy with like the, like, it's like a rail gun almost, right? Max gold. We are max gold in the inventory for sure. I don't know how the stash is looking. Should really have dropped some off so we could see items better. Um, but what I reckon we should do after this run is we could swap back over to Sork and then absolutely blast terrorize tombs. I cannot wait for us to get a grail from Duriel himself. I love doing Duriel runs. I actually love it. One of the most fun... Like, the funnest times that I've had while making YouTube videos, like one of many, has been from when we did a thousand Duriel runs. I just, I don't know why, I was just loving it. I was just loving it. And we actually got really good stuff. Got like an SOJ from him, got a Metal Grid from him. Got an Ethereal Hoz from him. Twisted Metal was the greatest. Dude, I used to play Twisted Metal on PSP. Back in the day. It was sick. I love the fucking crown, the clown car, and how like each, it was like a little slightly different ending for each character. Okay. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Alright, I'll be back in two ticks, broskies. We just got to um, sort out this soul stuff and then blast, blast Duriel. But I'll leave you in the capable hands and legs of the chair. What the hell happened here, boys? Oh, no chairs were harmed in the making of this stream. At least I don't think so. Okay. Still got a little bit of coconut powder. Bring back the chair. 
Maybe after this terror zone. I know what you're here. I know why you're here. I know what you came to see. Oh man. Messed up my chair settings. Yeah, that's kind of better. Equality for the chair. Yeah, I should do a stream where uh, the chair's sitting on me. Maybe on my OnlyFans, I'll do that. All right, let's go. Not that one. Oh, the feng shui bros is ruined. Feng shui, feng shui, feng shui. I don't know how to do it nicely. Uh, I feel like before we had something like this. That looks ugly as hell. Oh well. We'll just have to we'll just have to live with it. 193. Oh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. We need more MF, bros. Let's move that down so you guys can see the Merc's lovely face. And then get rid of this little simp sucker since we're gonna have map up. All right, we're on, dudes. We're freaking on here, bros. Hopefully we can cross off, cross off more than one grailer. And oh my God, after this, it's cows. Oh, yes. Oh, let the degeneracy flow, bros. Let it flow, let it flow. Okay, cows as Nova is like, Spicy as on hardcore. I would feel a lot more comfortable as cold. But I feel like we should do it anyway. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Maybe we could cross off some freaking cow kings. I haven't found any cow kings. Misha found the boots, a little rat bag. Stop beating me, sure. Oh, Leobamir. I feel like, I feel like she grossly underestimated both my degeneracy and my pettiness. Like, my pettiness knows no bounds. I reckon we just hit the super and then we're onto the next tomb. And then maybe after we kill D, as in, uh, Duriel, we'll make a new game. Oh, legendary, legendary mallet. We found a unique one of those. Uh, Stone Crusher or Schaefer's would both be really nice Grailers. Get claps on mission, mission can catch, catch up. There is like a 50% we die in Terrorize Cows if I go in as Nova. But you know, I'll roll those dice. I will absolutely roll those dice. In the name of finding the Cow King's leathers. Let's put our level 91 Sork on the line. This man's gonna die to an oopsie TP and cows, legit. Or just like forgetting to put my energy shield on. It's the exact sort of freaking, it's the exact sort of thing I would do. So noob. Oh, hello, ghosty boys. And it's just such good density here, isn't there? Like such good champion mob density. What we should probably actually do in fact, we should definitely do is pick up, start collecting blue amulets for crafting. Because I've got like 50 flawless amethysts ready to go. And like jewels and rails and stuff. But we don't have a 93 to gamble the amis. So we could just pick them up from here and gamble with those ones. These ones. Ooh! Whoa, we don't have boot, we don't have boot, we don't have boot. How long was that off for? <laughs> Whoops. 
<laughs> you almost uh <laughs> gave Major an opportunity to catch up, bros. I was like, wait a second, why do I have 500 health? We're well, booless. I remember if we've already done super in here. And Merc is down. Okay, we should definitely go get him. Ooh! Crushing blow hits hurt, man. Hit like a truck. Hey, Leela, what's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> hey, Leela. <laughs> New haircut? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I just got out of the army reserves. Not actually. Sorry. No stolen valor here. I just feel like the haircut, you know? <clears throat> uh, you switch from Nova to Orb Source with Energy Shield. It's pretty amazing when you're fully kitted. True. Oh, how do you have the points to go... Orb and Orb and energy shield. Does that mean you don't invest into Blizzard at all? Like you're just Orban? Never actually tried that. I always go Orb and and Orb and Blizzard. But I guess if you're a hardcore gamer, just like ditching the Blizzard and like investing into energy shield could be could be an interesting play. Light plated booties? Where, where are the Gitos in one to Ubers? I feel like I find so many of them when I don't need them, you know? Right now. Alright, I'll ID these 320s. Who died? Uh, no one yet, but give me a couple of hours. Um, I'm working on it. Hello there. I vote Schmuck goes punch sauce for terrorized cows. <laughs> I am flattered. I am honestly flattered that this is what we've come to in order to give Misha a fighting chance. All of my drops from this point onwards have to be from a naked sorceress punching things. And then perhaps we might have a fair fight on our hands. Yoink! Man, is that Duriel in the... At the last or second last tomb. Although I'm getting Duriel vibes from this tomb. This is giving me hella Duriel vibes. So sprawling already. Don't miss those amulets? Oh, I feel like I've teleported past a couple of them already, hey Rob. Right after, oh my god, me saying, I should really pick them up. Damn, goldfish memory. Vexing me yet again. Pull up on rejuves. Okey Dimensional bleed. We want dimensional shard. Ooh, okay. So, Sunday, we need this to be magic. Magic is the only one we haven't found. Oh, I'm not even gonna stash that. 89 lightning. I have a lot of lightnings in stash if there's anyone who needs one. Yep, hella Duriel vibes. Let's go, bros. Something beyond just a TP scroll, please. Ooh! Okay. Magic? Physical! Is that a perfect fizz? Does this roll 20 to 30? I don't actually know the physical roll. Does anyone even use physical ones? 
feel like they don't. It's like so rare that stuff's. Oh, it's 10 to 30. Oh, never mind. Yeah, Abigail. It's Andy perfect? Oh, did they update? Is it 10 to 30 or 10 to 20? This website's saying 10 to 30, but they might have changed it. Could be old. What's it, Griffins? <laughs> Fucking trash. That's what it is. <laughs> Absolute trash. But it's still a Griffins. It's still a Griffins. I didn't press enough buttons there. That's better. Hey, blue fatty. Nice. Use one in your necro? Huh? You use a physical sunder on your necro. Wait for your corpse explosion? True. Never thought of that. That's actually a pretty good idea. Summoned and for your corpses. Actually kind of makes sense. True. Sick. Do you use a fire sunder as well, or is it just like not not worth? Probably wouldn't be worth, hey, because you wouldn't have any minus fire res, or very minimal. We snoop these, hey, ghost wands. Hmm. Nope. Just re up the boo in between tombs. Except for this one, because it was so short. Oh! Almost had a re roll, bros! Almost had a freaking re roll. That would have been fucking sick. Two Griffin's IDs in one stream. What graphics card? I got a 3080. GeForce RTX 3080. Does that make sense to you? It sure as hell doesn't make sense to me. That is the graphics card I'm rolling with. Ooh, we really want to find Trang's belt as well. That is going to be a juicy one to cross off the Grailer. Found a cham rune. Plus the griffins two days ago from Terrorized Chaos was insane. Oh, man, how did your griffins roll? Congrats, Taiku, that's dope. That's a nice graphics card. Sweet. <laughs> it's always reassuring when you guys say that, because I don't know, you know? But you guys are like, oh yeah, that's a good one. It's like, oh, dope, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to, um, maybe get more storage. I've got one terabyte, but I want to get, like, I don't know how big the storage goes up to. But I wonder if I could get, like, five terabytes. I wonder if that's an option. Oh, dimensional blade again. Ooh, quick durial. Maybe I can get 10. Nay, 20. 15, 12, brutal dog. And then you insta sold it for a Vex 2 Gallon and an Ist. Yeah, get it out of my sight. Get it out of my sight. Five terabytes is adorable? Is it? That sounds like a lot to me. I only have one. 
How much do you have? <laughs> if you have the coin. Eh, it's a business expense. Thirty-eight. You can open eight Diablo accounts at the same time. You mean to tell me that I could be doing this on P8 right now? <clears throat> Your PC uses NVMe. That's easy to upgrade to five terabytes cheap. I don't know what those letters mean. But that doesn't mean I'm not using whatever it is. I guess I'll just have to back everything up somewhere, right? And then get like the new storage, put that in, and then like load all of the backed up stuff onto the new one. I'm not good at this stuff. I don't know if that's coming through. <laughs> Even fill up the one terabyte? Yeah, I had to clear some stuff today. I just have so much footage, you know? Just so much footage. But I realized I had... I just had to cleanse some old clips. Like, for example, I had... All of the footage from our P8 one to Ubers still there. Like the Paladin P8 one to Ubers, which was just like 18 hours of video. So I deleted that and then it's like, oh, now I have a hundred more gigabytes of space. It's locked. Jeez. <laughs> a lot of space. You can also get external storage. Ooh. Oh, damn. And then I don't have to transfer over stuff, right? Recording stuff takes a ton of space, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, like 800 gigabytes is how much storage my videos are taking at the moment. 800 gigs. Cloud storage is always clutch if you don't have external. I... I'm not a big cloud storage guy. I just don't... I just don't like it. I always sound like such an old person, but I don't trust it. I don't fucking trust it. <laughs> I, uh... I have no faith in the cloud. I'm a... Physical storage kind of dude. Which motherboard do you have? I have no idea. I have no idea. I did save a screenshot of my computer specs somewhere. You'll we'll probably find that for you, bros. Because I knew you guys would be interested in it. Got it saved somewhere. See if I can find it easily after we do derail this this map. What's a dead levels counter for? Uh, it's essentially keeping tally of all the combined levels of hardcore characters that I've murdered this season. So it's like five to seven characters. With the cumulative total of, what is it, almost 400 levels. That's just a visual representation of all of the time that I've lit on fire over the past two and a half weeks. Rip on the Griffins roll. Oh, thanks, Connor. Big fucking rip, hey, dude. At least it wasn't Earth like the last one. Small victories, small victories. Are you comfortable doing computer things hardware-wise? Not really. 
Like my last PC, I assembled it myself, but I really just copied a YouTube video. Like just blow for blow, copied the YouTube video. So I'd prefer it if like someone more competent did it. So I'd probably take it to a shop and pay them to do it. Just because it would make me less anxious about fucking it up. You identified your first Griffin's got a 2011? Oh, Billy, dude. That sweet, sweet 20, baby. Congrats. Fucking huge. That's what our next Griffins will be. The Griffins that we're going to find in Cal's next Terra Zone. Except ours is going to be a 2014. It's been written. Misha has 75%, not 64%. What? She's been busy today, hey? I've still got her at 64.5% on her, uh, on her Excel sheet. But maybe she's writing stuff down and not adding it yet. Yeah, I fanged a cheeky refresh. Maybe I've got a, a bad link or something. Might be working off a different XL for whatever reason. You're looking at it yourself? Hmm. That would be... She must have been hella busy in the past 24 hours if that's the case. We go from like low 60s to high 70% in 24 hours is like fucking insane. That is some um, 24 hour terrorized Andy sort of degeneracy. She went to normal cows, smart. Fucking smart. I love it. So she's ahead now, is that what you're telling me? God damn. Maybe she's getting the lows you're t talking about. She must have. Holy moly. I'm worried now. Holy fuck. No. I need Archie. I need Archie. What? Why isn't my thing updating then? Try the one on my computer. I still have 64.51%. I should not be AFK in a tomb. I'll message her. I'll message. She's probably definitely sleeping right now. Um, where is she? Um, hello? Mike's about to lock in on cows. Dude, I'm fucking sweating, genuinely. I'm so, I'm so anxious now. I thought we had a comfortable 10%. No way, Jose. Maybe sh God damn it. Freaking psychological warfare. She's not writing it down yet, yet on the XL. Marty fake newsman? It's probably Capula just trying to get it in my head. <laughs> probably just trying to get in my head. 
When are the new videos coming out? Well, we got to... We got to beat this Grail race first. We got to claim our famous victory. So we got three more days of absolutely degenning the Grail. And then I'll edit up the trap tra video after that. But right now, we don't have time to edit. We have no time to edit right now. Is she North American? She's from Canada. Yeah. She's like... Should be a similar time zone to North America, right? Oh, hell, Rune. I reckon we'll get a reply in five hours. So, for the next five hours, I just gotta sit here stewing in my own anxiety. But, this has lit a fucking fire under my ass. So, if that's what Misha's booty was trying to do, was trying to make me win more, then... Mission accomplished. Because... <laughs> because now we're really gonna go in. <laughs> now we're really, really gonna go in. No more cruising over here. If there is a potential so that she's actually ahead of us, then you've done very well if you put money on me to win. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Ooh, Essence. Oh wait, we have... No, I want one more blue. I want one more blue. You're in Canada, it's 11 p.m. now. It's super, Canada's super big though, eh? Right? <laughs> it's super big. Like, you'd surely you'd have heaps of different t time zones in Canada. Right? You were just informing Misha's booty. Oh, that's, thank you for your informing. Yeah. I'm just, conf I'm just confused. I'm, I'm confused as to what's going on with her. With her XL sheet. Good morning, bro. Good luck. Have fun. Oh, thanks, man. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the strip. Do people really eat Vegemite? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Just about the ratios with Vegemite. That's what, whenever someone's like trying Vegemite for the first time, like on like some shitty talk show, then they give them like a fucking tablespoon of Vegemite. And it's just like, that's not how you eat it. You know? You put like a super, super thin layer on buttery toast and it's god tier. You know? It's like someone, I don't know, just like eating a full fucking tablespoon of mustard. You know what I mean? It's like, that's not how you eat it. <laughs> of course it's gonna suck. You and you me, Shaddy. Oh man, I just wanted to be aerodynamic for this grail hunting. Passive. Although I'm fucking, I'm, I gotta be honest guys, I'm really panicking right now. I'm in a bit of a kerfuffle. I'm in a tizzy. In light of recent, in recent information that has uh, graced my earlobes, I am stressed. I'm stressed. <laughs> When's the deadline for Grail? Three days. Three days. It's on the it's on the fourteenth, like U.S. time, the same time that ladder started, like five p.m. EST or whatever it is. PT? I don't know. Magic? Oh, fire. At least it's a good roll. Let's stash that all on the floor. Stash that. Give me some more. Stash that. Oh, oh, whoa. Put that onto a mule somewhere. A spoonful of mustard helps the Vegemite go down. <laughs> Bro, a spoonful of fucking anything would help the Vegemite go down. If you've full on stacked up a tea tablespoon of it. Any life? Ah, damn it! That's so bad, bros. Because she has like... 
she has like all of the really rare stuff. It's gonna be hard for us to close that gap, you know? Like she's found a Jar Rune, she's found a Zod Rune, she's found a Tyrael's Might. We don't have that. Ah! So she's always gonna have that like half a percentage point on us. Damn it! We gotta really f engage full Golem mode. Okay, let's top up on the Goblin Juice. We're going on deep, lads. We're going in fucking deep. We gotta get strategic about this. We gotta get really strategic about this. What about a teaspoon of Nutella? Oh, I mean, a teaspoon of Nutella is obviously, you know, fucking delicious. But that's a different uh, situation. You know, that's sweet. It's not salté. Ooh, schmucks dialed the fuck in. Freddy, I want Archie so bad. I want him so fucking bad. And also, we're closing in on having to do 2,000 maggot lair runs. You know? Because <laughs> I have a natural aptitude towards dying. So, we gotta fucking go, bros. We gotta fucking go. That won't do it. I mean, we do, we did cross off Griffins. We crossed off Grandfather, which is huge. Like, we've crossed off an SOJ, we've crossed off a Metal Grid, we've crossed off a Mara's. Like, we do have big hitters. But, they're also stuff that she can realistically achieve. I feel like Zod, Zod and Tyrael's, it's like unrealistic that, that, you know, we'll be able to get it. But, uh, it means we gotta risk it all, you know? Like, we can't play it safe. Like, we're gonna have to Nova up a storm and terrorize cows in uh, T minus 30 minutes. Like, there's a good chance of us dying, but uh, we gotta roll the dice, bros. We gotta roll the fucking dice, you know? We don't have time to play it safe. Hey, Alpha? Have a ghoul? And I can't believe that. She got like 15% in one day? After her stream? No way. No way, Jose! No way, Jose! This is just mental warfare. I need verbal confirmation from her. Maybe I should just keep messing, messaging her until she wakes up. I'll tell her it's an emergency. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Gotta be cool. Be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. <clears throat> Maybe she banked it up and updated it in a batch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, that is that is possible. That is straight up po possible. But, like, I swear to God, like, if you're on... If you're on, like, 60%, and you blasted, like, even if you had banked up heaps of low-level items that you haven't ticked off yet, and you blasted for, like, 10 hours, like, it would be, like, hugely impressive to cross off at 15% from 60%, you know what I mean? But, you know, she is an absolute grinder, for sure. She has proved that time and time again. And per perchance, perchance, I underestimated her. Oh, how could I be so foolish? Okay. Okay, the stakes have risen yet again. I got cozy, man. I got comfortable. I got complacent. Ugh. You can't put your f put your foot off the gas, bros. You can't put your foot off the gas. Damn it. Who's the real degenerate? I know! I know! I feel so ashamed my identity. I've got so much of my identity wrapped up in me being a filthy degen. But now I just don't know who I am anymore. You know? This is... I'm in emotional turmoil right now. I have no sense of... sense of self. 
Need more MF, I know. I don't like us being 193, but, you know, we're wearing a Griffins, so our clear speed is pretty bitchin'. I would like to definitely get over that 200 hump. Superior phase blade? ED with five sockets? Let's. Oh, ED with one. Damn. Schmuck's about to pull out a 24 hour stream. Bro. I'm not going to be able to sleep until I have got verbal confirmation from Misha herself about exactly what percentage she's at. So, we're definitely going to have to hang around until she wakes up. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're definitely going to be here for at least the next five hours. What do you think of the UFC fights on Saturday, Schmack? Oh, dude, I watch from... I watch from... The fight after Curtis Blades. Who's on after that? Yeah, Rune. I thought the Sugar fight was really good. I really enjoyed that fight. Really entertaining. I thought... For the Gilbert Burns fight... Our internet was like kind of fucking up, so I really only saw like little bits and bobs of it. Um, I thought the Michael Venom Page Holland fight was so shit. I fucking loathe Holland. He just gets under my skin, you know? I really don't like him. I find him so annoying. Um,. And there was another really, really good fight. I don't remember what it was. He's got a big mouth. Yeah, but it's like, I love people having a big mouth. As long as they can back it up. If you have a big mouth, oh my god. And you just lose all the time, then it's like, okay, you're just, you're just annoying. But if you're talking trash and then you back it up, you know, like, like Connor back in his heyday, then it's amazing. But you're only allowed to have a big mouth if you're winning. You know what I mean? Uh, the Dustin one? The Dustin one I was actually having a nap for. Which... Was probably a mistake. <laughs> but I just really needed a nap. <laughs> yeah. That was another really good fight, but I can't remember who it was. Well, the odds Tyson knocks out Paul? Oh, dude, I feel like, like, Jake Paul's obviously going to win because Mike Tyson is fucking 60 years old, you know? That is a weird, just a weird turn of events. I'm not, I'm not really here for it, to be honest, but I'm going to watch it. Absolutely, I'm going to watch it. If it's free on Netflix, fuck yeah, I'll watch it. But, uh, I don't know. Does Mike really need money that badly? Surely not, right? Oh, yeah, Pyotr Jan, Song Yudong. That was a huge fight. I love that fight. I love that fight. That was a really good fight. That was a really good fight. Really close. Really close fight. I think they made the right decision. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was an incredible fight. Oh, Lance. Ooh, we're getting pretty good experience here, aren't we, dudes? Plausible. In fact, we're probably going to hit 92 today. Unless disaster strikes. That would be disastrous. What character did Misha kill normal cows with anyway? Because she's got... She's got a porking barb, or a spinning barb. I guess she could do it with him. Spin to win barb. I think she's got a smiter, but she doesn't really have, like, a source. I guess she could do it with the spin to win barb. I feel like, fast enough. 
I don't want to see an old man get beat up. Yeah, it's just like... Nah. <laughs> you just... Surely Mike Tyson doesn't need to do it, you know? Like, he's got a super duper successful podcast. Hey, a monarch. But I don't know. It might not be fiscally motivated. You know what I mean? He might do it just because he wants to train again. You know, wants... Want something to work towards. It's normal cows, easy enough. I'm not thinking about clearing them, I'm thinking about clearing them quickly. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> the kill speed. Tyson's a scary dude. Yeah. He is a scary dude. <laughs> That man has some hardcore demons just underneath the surface, you know? They're right there. They're really close to the surface. When are you going to start crafting? Uh, I reckon uh, probably when we get to 93, I reckon we'll cra start crafting. So not today, but maybe in a couple of days we'll have a crafting stream. In all of Tyson's videos, he doesn't look slow or weak. Yeah. Are they recent videos or are they old ones for when he fought that other old guy, though, a couple of years ago? Like three years ago. And, like, when he fought that other old guy, like three years ago, he was like, yeah, I would film a little 10 second clip for like social media like him punching a bag like looking really good and then after that I would be in bed for a week <laughs> that's his words <laughs> Roy Jones due to that other old guy yes yeah, sorry 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 Wait, that was disrespectful from uh from me from my end <laughs> that other old guy not bad that fight was awful too I don't remember feeling like that when I watched it. I thought that Tyson won that fight. But I don't remember feeling like, oh, this is awful. But that was two old guys against each other. So it was like different. I feel like someone who's now even older against someone who's like 29. It's just like, what the fuck are we doing here, bros? You know what I mean? It's still Tyson versus Jake Paul. Tyson would rather die in the ring rather than lose. I, uh... I have a different take. Yeah, I feel like Tyson is very... Like, not like that anymore. Like, he... Like, when he lost to Roy Jones Jr. And... Like, Roy Jones got the decision. I was like, oh shit, here we go. You know, he's going to be like, this is fucking bullshit. I clearly won that fight. And instead, he grabbed the mic and was like, you know, this guy's a champion. And like, you know, took it like an absolute legend, you know. The really, really good loser. Even though he won. In my opinion. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's very different to the old Tyson. From what I know of the old Tyson, that is. You gonna watch it though? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it because it's free and easily accessible. If I had to pay for it, I absolu absolutely wouldn't watch it. Yeah. I absolutely wouldn't watch it if I had to pay. How can anyone be friends with Jake? The guy's mega cringe. Uh, I think he's a lot better nowadays. You know, not absolving him from all the shit stuff he's done in the past. But I definitely don't think he's as insufferable as he used to be. 
and I feel like there is something to be said about like, oh, you know, he, there's a reasonable chance that he could be all right behind closed doors because he definitely does lean into the fact, lean into the heel persona, you know what I mean? To make money. Like people tune in to watch him get knocked out. But, um, I don't know. His crypto thing was bad. Yeah, I mean, that was his older brother, right? Or, it wouldn't surprise me if Jake had some crypto scams going on as well. But, <laughs> I feel like they kind of all did, you know? Like, not necessarily as involved as, like, the whole crypto zoo thing was, but definitely, like, pump and dump stuff going on. They get paid in a token to post about the token. They post about the token, all their fans buy it, and then they sell the token. You know? I feel like that was very commonplace. And... Jake definitely did that. But I don't know if he had, like, a to like a cryptocurrency of his own. Maybe he did, and I just don't know about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo! I was just standing there. <laughs> Wasn't novering, while just delaying away. Just fucking standing there. <laughs> When's the schmuck going coming out? <laughs> oh man, I'm just waiting for my perfect time to strike. Cause you get one opportunity with this sort of stuff. Unfortunately, you guys aren't kids. Like if you guys were kids, it would be great. Because I could just scam you over and over again. And you'll just forget about it in between. You'd be so gullible. But uh, most of you guys are adults, which is terrible for me. It sucks. Because it means that I can only scam you once. You know? And then you learn from your mistakes. It's really quite a nuisance. So really I'm just building up goodwill so I can have one, you know, one grand heist instead of multiple smaller heists. <clears throat> Same thing with clickbait too, it's really annoying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, is the ghost thing true from the Cooley video? Uh, yes. Yeah, 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 the ghost magic finding secret Easter egg. That is, as far as I know, absolutely true. I think uh, a lot of people have, you know, looked into it, but I know that Llama has done a couple of videos on it. We finally getting a schmuck. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. <laughs> no, I feel like one of the big problems with a lot of cryptos is things are kind of crypto when they don't need to be crypto. If that makes sense. Hankred's weird. Like some things it's kind of like, okay, it makes sense that this is on the fuck it this is on the blockchain. There is utility in it being on like the fucking blockchain system. But some things are just there just cause, you know? It's like, oh this doesn't actually need to be like a crypto. You know, this could just be like a thing. Does that make sense? But I'm really not that knowledgeable out about the um, that whole space. I just know the bare bones. Just ghost away your magic find. Yeah, but then we have to stand in front of ghosts without dying, and you know I just can't be bothered really. Although if Misha is on 78%, then we might have to get creative. And by creative, I mean dirty and uh, use some exploits. Or not exploits, easter eggs to our advantage. <laughs> Why not just spam Andy and Map? Way more chance of getting Grailies. Um, 
because we can only do that for so long until we've like got the majority of the things that they could potentially give us. But when we're in a terror zone, especially a good terror zone like this, we can cross off really rare grailers, you know, like TC-87s. Uh, we've just had bad luck, essentially. Yeah, but I will be doing that, you know, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the more boring grinding stuff, like grinding normal Andy, I'm going to mostly do that off stream. Mostly. And like, there's definitely still Grailers we can get from Andy and Meth, but there aren't that many anymore. Like, an Arachnid's Mesh would be huge. Uh, we haven't found, like, Sirachin's Chant. Haven't found, like, Aret's Face. Um, you know, but there's, there's not like stacks, stacks and stacks of stuff we could get from, from them anymore. There is a, there is a decent amount for sure. Nice haircut, Sergeant Schmuck. Yes, there it is. <laughs> yes. Dude. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but I've been saying, I've been making that, that joke the whole stream as well. Looked like a uh, fresh out of the army reserves. But it's a very functional haircut. It's very functional. It means I'm more aerodynamic for, for grailing. And honestly, we're going to need, need to tilt all available odds in our favor. Given Mish is hot on our fucking tail, allegedly. We need to confirm when she wakes up in like five hours. Four to five hours. You just woke up? Oh, that makes it even better, bro. That makes it even better. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now drop and give me 20, soldier. Come on now. Give me something good, please. Woo. Shell wound. We need literally every rune Istan up except for bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. I was in a bit too deep there. Yikes. Someone mentioned stacks. Yo. G unit. Welcome on in, G-Stacks. I was actually talking about you earlier. I was talking about tomato sauce and it made me think of you. Excuse me, ketchup. I was talking about ketchup. Got the TC3 items covered. All oh, those items we could find in like every treasure class. Even in the, uh, even in the most common ones. Like, I still need, like, Torch of Iroh, like, Bane Ash. Like, there's quite a few items that I could still find from uh, normal Andariel that are around about 1 in 700 per run that I find them. So, like, they're still pretty rare. But, you know, we might have to, we might have to get them all. With Misha this hot on our tail. Allegedly. Ketchup young man do tell. I was just expressing that I am a ketchup man. But in the same vein, despite me being a ketchup man, 
I still wouldn't enjoy just eating it straight. Come on, dude. D. Give me something good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it in the name of competition and pettiness. Oh! Lame! This TZ hasn't given us anything, bros. Literally sweet fuck all. Any grail is found today? Just one. Just cuckoo. Yeah. Just cuckoo. Gross rare fang knife off your grail. <laughs> Shit, boy. <laughs> Damn. Yoink that. Next is Moo Moo Farm. Oh, you best believe it. We're going there, Max. That is where we die. But we're going there anyway. I'd much prefer to be respect into hold for terrorized cows. But uh, let's just do it anyway. Let's see what happens. We're gonna have to be hella care though. Like, like let the cows come into our nova, you know. Be huge if we could cross off some cow kings. That would be huge. Cows are slow with cold. I usually have a pretty good time with cows on cold. It's not as fast as. It's not as fast as Javazon, but. Like in Blizzard Orb, I feel like it's fine. Like, Javazon is biss, but fast enough. Use Fireball Sork? Yeah, that would work uh, amazingly as well, hey? As well as uh, that Demon Machine Sork. We found both of these. Mamberge. Pretty sure. Hello. Just static the cows never slow on Sork. Yeah, I mean, I even don't even static them on cold. I feel like it's, it's like not worth the time because you kill them quickly enough anyway. But that's on P1. I don't know if you're referring to it being on P8. You lost your demon machine, source light nanning. Last night in cows. Dude, that sucks. What level, beep boop? Or is it too soon to talk about? Sorry to hear that, man. Power outage. Oh, no. Bro, I was thinking to myself as you said that. I was kind of like, there was a part of my brain that's kind of like, oh, how did you manage that? You know, like lose a demon machine source. Like, you know, they're pretty safe but power outage that fucking sucks dog that's the pits feels bad man good level 45 on the rebuild oh good on you good on you pretty huge to get to 45 in uh in one day nice nice job Come on, Hawk. Razor's Edge. Is the competition one points for each Grail item? Yeah. Yeah, it's not weighted. We could maybe do that next time. Do a weighted Grail. It's just a lot of work to, like, build, build that into Excel. You could do, like, a 3-2-1 system or something. Some items are worth three. Some items are worth two. And you won't believe it. Some items are worth one. Kuanins? Good morning, Schmuck. You look fresh. Oh, thanks, Kev. Thank you, dude. 
I'm feeling pretty rat shit, but uh, it's good to know that I look good. <laughs> I look fresh, not necessarily good. <laughs> I hope you slept well. Is it end date for competition? Yeah, in like two and a half days. On March 14th, 5 p.m. PT, I think. It's whenever the... It's whenever the season started, like that time. The season start time. So we're on the clock. Why haven't you made a mosaic in? I just don't really like the playstyle. Not a huge fan of the being on a timer. Ooh, that's an upgrade. That's a really nice upgrade. More life, more lightning res. Fucking sick. It's quite a good uh, hardcore grand charm there. 34 life, 27 lightning res. Really nice one. Bob Club. Flesh render. I wonder. I wonder if we found that. Flesh Ripper? Flesh Render we have. Damn it. Damn it! Alright, let's go, bros. Hello. Into the Moo Moo Farm. Oh, that was a waste of a Terra Zone, wasn't it? At least we got good experience. And we got that new Grand Charm. I think we should just... Let's just fang it to... Just fang it to the leg. Mish needs to lock in. Well, I don't know. I don't know because the... I have like her Excel spreadsheet up on my computer, right? I check in on it all the time. But apparently she might be on 78%. But I feel like we could be getting lied to, bros. Is on her Excel seat on my computer, it says 64. So, I don't know what to believe. But I think we should just keep blasting just in case. We need a static here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, I am going to die here. I got to edge lord them. Don't go into them, go around them, schmuck. He says while teleporting into them. Okay, so what do we really want to find here? We really want high runes. Honestly, Easton up. Kalking's leathers would be huge. And Arachnid's mesh would be so nice. And literally anything that we haven't crossed off the Grailer yet would be amazing, which is like 140 things, roughly. And then also, don't die, you fool. You fool of a took. She was ahead when she streamed before, but can't remember the percentage. Oh man. I must have her out of date. Must have an out of date Expel spreadsheet. Damn, dude. That sucks. <laughs> Who would have thought? I go away and don't play for three days, and then all of a sudden she's ahead. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. Rare Thundermore. We don't have time for rares right now. We have no time. Only Grailers. Apologies. Apologies, Dominus.
It was Gabagool anyway, I can... I can tell. Okay. Here. You losing the competition is a win in my books. More content. Yeah, I mean... Maggots is a level 85 area. There is a very real possibility we get some huge find in maggots. But I also really want to kidnap her favorite plush toy. You know? I want it. In fact, I already have him mentally. So it feels like if I lose, I'm losing him. Not that I'm not gaining him. That makes sense. I basically counted my chickens. I counted my archies. We had one. Uh, Stony. She was ahead? What the hell? I can't believe it! What's going on with my XL? Maybe she... May, maybe she copied it to a new Excel spreadsheet. And then I was operating under an old link. Something like that. Are the Mega Lair do runs done without teleport? No, I don't think so. We didn't uh, specify... Specify this... Class that we'd use. I don't have energy shield. Oh, I do. Woo! Panic! <laughs> Did she overtake you? Apparently. Apparently, but I've been checking her grail, like, the whole time. I've been checking her grail, and I had her at 64. But now people are saying 78. You know? People are saying 78! Which is so much more than 64. And I'm stressed. I'm really stressed about it. Like, I can't relax until I know for sure. Uh, but she's asleep right now, so we gotta wait. We gotta be patient. We can't be hasty little hobbitses. We just gotta keep on grinding. 80% now? Oh, get fucked. Get fucked. No way. No way. You guys are pulling my leg. You're pulling my peg leg over here. 81. <laughs> Must kill faster. <laughs> Over 9,000? 82. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ooh, Lochabar. That's like meat scraper, right? Something trash. Yeah, we found that. Ooh, for Nat Cows. I could never go wrong. We do need to pick up more Camp Portal Scrolls when we find them. I'm close here, and you're all lightning enchanted. Now you're dead. Full of a toque. Damn, 85 now? <laughs> Shit. Too low roll on the defense. In the bin. Good morning, Shmay. Hey, guy from below. What's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Hope you slept well. You're the winner of our hearts anyway. Oh, mister. I needed that. In my moment of need. I've been really stressing over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't keep rattling on about it. I'm just so emotionally invested in this. Oh, thanks, man. Your cat's watching you enjoy kill the cows. <laughs> Hell yeah. I find it so funny when cats, uh, like, watch screens. Because uh, I was looking after a cat like two years ago who would like watch me play Diablo and she would be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, because she would always come up and snoop the screen because it's like, 
Human, why are you staring at this thing? Like, what am I missing here? Like, what is so, captiva so captivating about this shiny box? Or like when cats watch TV. Like, you can put on cat TV that's just got like a little mouse running around. And they full on, they're full on like... <laughs> depends on the cat. Like, trying to catch it. Ooh! Okay, definitely don't teleport into a mob of cows with amp on, bro. Eighty six. <laughs> the guy from below might know. Do you know what percentage completion Misha was on her Grail at the end of her stream this morning? I sometimes see you in uh, Misha's streams. I'm getting mixed messages over here. We've got uh, it's a psyop. They're resorting to, she's resorting to mental warfare. Boo, oh, Donnie. Did Boo wear off? Oh, shit. Not even close to you, I think. See, see, these guys, guy, these guys are trying to freaking crawl inside my brains and be like, oh, schmuck, Misha's on. They're fucking straight up gaslighting me over here, dog. They're like, oh, Misha's on 78, you know? And I was like, what? No way. No way, Jose, she got 15% in the past, like, five hours. Ah, man, they had me too. They fucking had me too, dog. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. How could I be so foolish, genuinely? Like, I have her Excel spreadsheet right here. I'm denying... I'm Denying all logic and reason, the freaking hard facts right in front of me of her Excel spreadsheet, but you still conned me. You played me like a fool. Oh man, this must be what it's like to be a flat earther, you know? Like literally just denying all of the evidence that's directly in front of you. Okay, okay, yes. It was just my own stupidity yet again, Donnie. Yet again. Also, thank you so much, dog. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Enterprise, the largest Manald manufacturer in the Southern Hemisphere. With a grand total of eight Manalds in two and a half weeks. But it's quality over quantity. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. You're a flat Jupiter? <laughs> Better flat jupes than a flat anus. I mean Uranus. Excuse me. Although both apply. Oh, give me something. That was like an hour and a half of torment. Dude, I was stressing. I was stressing. There's still a little part of me that wants confirmation. But, uh... I haven't been enjoying myself. You know? <laughs> I have been... In anguish. I am not like old Mike Tyson. I am a bad loser. I am a bad, 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 bad loser. As in, not outwardly, but inwardly. Internally. Internally. Because I lose twice, you know? You lose... You lose the competition, your first loss. And then your second loss is the beating that you give yourself inside your own brain. You know? Fucking double loser over here. the most meaningless friendly competition as well you know why am I letting this get to me because it's not meaningless that's why we've got Archie and almost 2,000 maggot lair runs on the line good point good point bros log in light belt gabagool oh man this must be what it feels like to be Misha, because we haven't found a Grailer in fucking hours, boys. And let me tell you, it sucks. Give me back that filthy, filthy luck. <laughs> Although, honestly, I feel like that 45 minutes of terrorized catacombs that I did this morning was like my luck used up for the whole season. 
Two Talzamas, two Hawes, Ravenlaw Griffin's grandfather at Ms. Scarab. Just Azeroth, just fucking gross. You know what I mean? Just straight up fucking filthy. The stream is the kid here can be pulled over and over again. <laughs> oh, you got me with my own callback, bro. Nice job. Very nicely done. Ooh, amulet. We keep that for crafting. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Where is King? Did we already kill him? Or was that him there? It's hard to tell because I murdered him so quickly. New game. Schmoogba! What's up, dog? Last week you got family packs of godly luck. Since this week's end, nothing? Yeah. That's just the... The beauty. Of RNG, the fickle mistress, eh? You know? She's so hot and cold. Just keeping you wanting. She's... Net, one minute she's, uh, she's love bombing you. You know? Showering you with praise. And the next minute, she's not fucking responding to your texts. And, you know, she's out with a bunch of guy friends that you shouldn't worry about. But, uh, it's been three days. You haven't heard a peep. But she's definitely been active on Instagram. So, she, you know she has her phone. You know? Well, I'm sorry. That, uh... That got a little bit too raw there for a second. A little bit too real. That's my bad. I thought I had worked through that emotionally, but uh, apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> Sag? What does Sag mean, dog? I've heard people say that before, Sag. I don't actually know what it means. But firstly, do I want to know what it means? We need to find this man of Manal now. Stat! <laughs> Someone get this man of Manal stat! <laughs> Blood Eater. Just gonna leave that one. Just gonna leave that one today. Ah, oh, crap. Sad and depressing is Sag? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just teasing. I was just joking. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, five. You want that to be ethereal and four. Oh, it's a Pepe emote. Oh, true. <laughs> that would actually be very appropriate. That would be very fitting. I still need to balance the co colors of our two Pepe's. Bad. Sorry. I mean, slacking over here. Ooh, small charm, Zumba. Oh. Ah. Yeah, Bogu. Okay, so we probably need to re-up the boo like once per cow run here. And we're closing in on two bars, which is delightful. Want to ask is you want to get a new PC grossly? What are the specs of your machine? Dog. I mean, I am not a uh, PC guy. I don't know, like, stuff about computers. But what I do know is I have a 3080. And I have a terabyte of storage, although I want more. I always get roasted for this. And I'm going to get more, I promise, I promise, I promise. But I've got 16 gigs of RAM. But I'm probably going to get more of that. And I don't know what my motherboard is. But I have a little screenshot somewhere that I should look up. 
because other people were asking about it earlier. Let me see if I can find it easily. It's all my videos. Hmm. Oh, here. Does that mean anything to you? The AMD Ryzen 6 cores, 12 threads, 5600X. I'm hoping that means something to you, because it means sweet fuck all to me. But that's what I got. That's what I got. And it does the job. Let me tell you that much. It does the absolute job. For shiz in the niz, it does the job. Five out of five wood years. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> me too. Saw a dope Alienware deal with a 4080 and a 14900 for good bucks. Mm. Oh! How much, how much is good bucks for that? Oh, that could have so easily been an Omrune, bros. Damn it! That's alright, that's alright. Be cool, be cool, be cool. You cannot... Become hasty little hobbits and just teleport into a mob of cows and die with amp on. With lightning enchanted cows. We need to maintain our composure. 2300 USD, $500 discount. I think this computer cost me like. Cost me like 2,300 Australian, which is like one and a half grand US. Obviously like a lot of money, but also, you know, business expense. Oh, I heard a charm. Ah, large. I can't be bothered with larges at the moment. They won't help us without Grayler. That's around 8,500 schmuck bucks. God damn. Yeesh. It's been rough out there for the schmuck buck econ economy, hey? Just absolutely tanking. That used to be one to one. It used to be one to one, but it's a fucking volatile market, I tell you what. Yeah, you know, just after, you know, supply chain issues. The uh, their value has clearly plummeted. Inflation hit fucking hard. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Harder than a fucking amplified damage conviction cow. That is uh that is quite hard. Do you enjoy a good Fuji apple? Uh, absolutely, man. Yeah. Especially if it's a good one. In fact, I'm much more likely to enjoy it if it's a good one. But yeah, I'm quite a big apple man. I, I really like the convenience of apples. In fact, I dare I say it. Magic? 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 Ooh, perfect fire. Okay, I'll take that. I will withhold my salt because you best believe it was coming. But uh, I'll take a perfect fire. <laughs> Just stash that all on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a big convenience man, you know, in life and in fruit. And I love the convenience of an apple. No, you don't have to peel that shit. Ooh, blue crown of ages. Oh, 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 it's a Gates. Okay, 40? Just leave that one where we found it. Don't, uh... You didn't see anything there? <laughs> Ick? 
<laughs> that Gates gives you the ache. <laughs> it's like <laughs> stuff that girls give stuff that gives girls the ick. It's like guys sitting down with their legs dangling and not being able to reach the floor. And then stuff that gives guys the ick is that. You know, a fucking 25 magic fine gates. <laughs> no cow set yet? Nothing, man. No cow set. No grailers from cows. In fact, we've only found one grailer this whole stream. But we are getting really good experience. We did just yoink a freaking perfect fire sunder, which is not nothing. And we found this nice largey. Is like quite good for oh my god don't die you fool quite good for hardcore gaming and yeah we're just two bars away from hitting level 96 on hardcore which is pretty dope since we've like almost exclusively played solo except for like right at the start and extra skill points are quite nice Or energy shield. And the stat points as well. You're trying to hit here, damn it. <laughs> Zumba, what did I say? <laughs> Was it the dangling, the image of the dangling legs? You know, just imagine a guy sitting, sitting at like an armchair, you know? And his feet, you know, they don't reach the ground, so he's just sitting there dangling them. Does that make you lose your appetite? There's that dude on TikTok making an ick list. I'm not, I'm not on TikTok, but I, I do watch YouTube shorts, which is like effectively the same thing. But I guess there's like a kind of like cultural difference. Like as, as in TikTok has its own culture. But that ick was remarkably specific, wasn't it? I did copy that from... I think it was Tanner Mongal. Mongoose. That, uh... That came up with that one. Or at least that's where I heard it from. <clears throat> so it wasn't an authentic ick. It w I didn't just make it up. You know? Uh, Stony? You're just like me for real? Oh, bro. I hope things get better for you soon, man. I'm so sorry to hear that. Miljabras. Excuse me. Millibragas. Dimensional blade? What are the drops this Arvo? Sweet fuck all, Cory. Sweet fuck all, dog. We did find a perfect fire, fire sunder. And we crossed one thing off the grail. Cuckoo, cuckoo, shikaku. Maybe one other thing as well, or is it just that? I think it was just that, actually. Um, so, been pretty shit, to be honest. We did find a red essence, which we wanted to do a respec. And then we did identify an almost anti-perfect griffins. So, there's that. <laughs> but, uh, this morning off stream was proper filth. Because I caught 45 minutes of terrorized catacombs, and holy guacamole, it was possibly the most disgusting 45 minutes of, like, magic finding that I've ever had. Like, especially within the context of doing the grail. It was, like, it was grotty. It was absolutely grotty. Why don't you just find more Grailers? <laughs> Bro, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Um, okay, yeah, let's try that. I can't believe I couldn't, haven't thought of that yet. We just gotta find more Grailers, boys. That's what we gotta do. 
Ooh, Vex Billy, nice man, really nice. Wait, wait, we didn't even check what the terror zone is after this, did we? Moo Moo Farm, followed by Oh, City of Damned River Flame. Okay. So after this one we'll we'll jump back into the Hawk Nation. Dun, 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 dun. These boots weren't horrible. Hopefully we can hawk up a couple of high runes. Yeah, the river of frames. Ooh! That one was bold. A bold strategy, Carton. Oh, another ort! Yeah! Good morning from Hungary. Hey, good morning, man. Welcome to the stream. Hope you slept well. Welcome on in. If we find something godlike here, then you're my lucky charm and you're never allowed to leave! Oh, we got a Grailer, baby! Oh, V-Gaze! All right, you're locked in. Good morning and also good day and good night because you're going to be here the whole fucking time, dog. You are my lucky charm. All right, beautiful. It really doesn't matter how this rolls, but that is a really good roll. That rolls 6 to 8 on the Mana Steel Lifesteal and 15 to 20 on the DR. So that is almost perfect. You mainly want this to be ethereal. You usually chuck it on mercs. But that is fucking hot to trot. <laughs> That's a good roll. That is a good freaking roll right there, right there. I feel like Vigay's kind of took a hit with like Bulwark, but still good, still nice to find. Oh, yes. Ooh, bitching res there as well. Uh, kind of bitching. Oh, fandily tastic. Armor. Make sure I'm on my thing, not Misha's. Vampire gaze. Nice. 74.86. We're closing in on 75% Grayler completion, dudes. Woo! Yes! Feels good, man. Feels good. That's a decent one to cross off as well. V-Gaze is pretty rare. It's a pretty rare one. Oh, yes. Nice roll as well. Really nice roll. I know uh, one of Debrunsky's. I know far too much about Debrunsky. I know one of his most beloved items on his single player account was an ethereal V-Gaze with a Almost perfect roll. Um, that he put a cham rune in it. And his Merc wears it. Andre! Welcome to the stream, man. Literally every time you tune in, I'm going to pronounce your name slightly differently. But uh, they will have one thing in common. That they will all be incor incorrect pronunciations. But... Good to see you. Did I see that right? Was that one of perfect roll in the vamp? You saw that right, man. Perfect on the mana, perfect on the life. One off on the DR. That's a good vamp. That's a bloody good vamp. Woo! And that was almost a dead schmuck right there. Yeah, damn. Nice find. Really nice find, hey? Really good. I feel like I don't really know where to use V-Gaze nowadays. I mean, it's... It's hard. It's hard, because you get... You get 15 DR from a Bulwark, and you also get a bit of lifesteal, but you get... Bonus 5% life. 
you know? So it's kind of on par with Bulwark. I reckon a, a, probably a, a better roll. Actually, no, V-Gaze is better. V-Gaze is better. V-Gaze is better for, um, because you can socket it. V-Gaze is better than Bulwark. Yeah, because you can add a socket to it. And it is good for Ubers as well. Actually, we should put that on this Smiter. That's a really good call. Because right now he's using Bulwark. And 8% Life Leech is higher than 6%. You're right, hey, 13. Yep, you convinced me, you convinced me. Right, let's put the crafting amulets over here. These are crafting jewels. I'll move you these to a, a mule later. And I guess we keep... Question for you, what's a no what's a magic sunder worth on non ladder softcore? Ooh. What I would do if I'm curious about how much something is worth, then I would look it up on Tradery and look at recent trades. That is what I do, because I don't know off the dome. But in general, with Sunder Charms, especially in non-ladder and in soft core, unless they're perfectly rolled, then they're cheap as chips. Even magic ones, which are the most rare. Unless it's a really good roll. Hello. Because they they drop all the time. Well magic ones don't, but I wouldn't expect if you have one, I wouldn't expect you'll be able to trade it for much unless it's a really good roll. Um and if you don't have one and you need one, it shouldn't be too hard for you to obtain. Perfect jewel for Vigas. The 13 all res one. We have a... I can't remember what arm runes do in Helms. Arm runes are still all res in Helms, yeah? We do have a 15 all res jewel sitting there. Doesn't have any other mods on it, unfortunately. Oh, Tleroth, thank you so much. Tleroth with a 10 gifted. Thank, thank you so much for that, Tleroth. Thank you. And welcome aboard. Welcome, 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 welcome. 10 less lonely gobbies, baby. Welcome to the Enterprise. The third largest Minald manufacturer in the Southern Hemisphere. With a grand total of eight Minalds in two and a half weeks. <clears throat> We've been uh, having supply chain issues on the, on the Minalds. But thank you so much again, Tlareth. I really appreciate it. Hope, you're, uh, hope the Necrons are coming along well. Whoop! 15 all res jewel is nice in weapon. Yes. Yeah, we could chuck it in the heaven's light, actually. Uh, we don't really need more laying of hands. But we should see what the defense is. Do these go up to 87? I know they go higher than 82. Woo! Woo! Don't die. Sorry about the Griffin's roll. Oh, that's okay, man. That's okay. To be honest. After my last Griffins, I'm just glad it wasn't ethereal. Do we? It's. I was talking about it a little bit before, but uh, sometimes in life, when you zoom out, all of a sudden things become less sad and more funny. And this is one of those situations, you know. It's like pretty funny that I've found three griffins. The first one has been 1610. The second one has been ethereal. And the third one has been 1511. You know? That's just objectively funny. Hell, it's even subjectively funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you still have the 20, 25 small charm? Yeah, we do. I mean, if we're, if things get super dire, we could always just flip that dip and then we could buy you know, 20 griffins. But, uh, I just kind of want to keep it forever. 
That's three more than you, Adam. Yeah. All good. And the Necrons roll ever onwards. Yes. We are Legion. We are many. <clears throat> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Good on you for getting around to painting them. That was... I always struggled with that when I was a, a wee young schmuck. I loved collecting them, you know, having them, but uh, I didn't always love painting them. I really want to identify the small charm that's in our inventory right now, but we don't have an ID scroll or a key. Okay, we got to go back to town. We got to re-up over here. All I know, this could be another 25. Best charm so far was three all res, five magic find. Yeah, yeah, that's a sick charm. Personal use, that's a dope charm. Oh, we gotta get keys. Get that. We got a ditch. We got a ding dong ditch. This alt rune. The losses sword some people like for bases, yeah. Uh, I guess we could have kept that and rolled it. I just can't be bothered. You know? Would you guys forgive me if I left that Ethereal Colossus Sword on the ground? Like, how much trouble am I in? Oh, oh, boo, 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 boo. Eee! Like, could you find it in my in your heart to forgive me if I left it there? Long sword. Legs. Dodo. Sword, yes. Blade, no. Okay. Bat, fam. Bat, 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 bat. Say less. So, sword can only go up to five. Blade can go up to six. Is that right? Where is my... Pocket is vibrating. Oh, it's boring vibrates. Boring vibrate. Terrorize cows is such good experience on P1 as well. Yeah. Pretty bitchin'. Such good density. Great density. In fact, less than two bars to go. Good day. Your ability to purchase fire weighs your tolerance for painting. Your room of hobby of shame. <laughs> Attest to that. <laughs> hobby of shame. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life is a hobby of shame. You gotta... You gotta, um... You gotta raise the stakes. Ooh, Shadow Disciplines. There's a lot of good stuff on there, though. Life, nice all res, 30 run walk. Just Shadow. Lame! Did another character die? Not to my knowledge. We're just uh, locked into a deadly competition right now. 
So whenever a good Terra Zone run is, it rolls around, we're blasting it as source. And when we have Gabagool Terra Zones, we're jumping back into Hawk Nation. That is the that's the plan. That's where we're at. I mean, we did lose a couple of characters with Kano. One of which was 100% my fault. The other one was kind of questionable. We got scammed out of a character. We got scammed out of a character, but uh, the other one was definitely my fault. So the levels have gone up since potentially you were last here. Are you going to continue? Ooh, Spiderweb watching a stream from bed. Great call. Good luck with the drops. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. At the rate we're going... Wait, don't die. At the rate we're going, we're getting about one Grailer every two hours. So... <laughs> we're going to need that luck. All rejuvie. Oh, <laughs> yellow conqueror crown. <laughs> oh, amulet. The verbs. Decorating strength. This could have been Halliburge rain. Damn it. Foolish mortal. Whoa. That is so close to being good. Two to Amazon skills, 12 strength, 16 dex, magic find. That is so close to being good. It's just not quite there. Like, if I had a 20, a couple of sockets, a bit of res on there, it'd be fucking golden. Not bad though, for sure. Absolutely not bad. What? I can't remember if we've re-upped the boo recently. Dolls were yonking for spirit rerolls. The rate limiting factor RE spirit rerolls of Thal runes right now. For whatever reason we're like absolutely basking in am runes. Still hardcore ladder, best believe it. Yep, hardcore ladder. Ooh. Yes, we're hardcore gamers, which is why I'm identifying items while cows are literally attacking me. Because I'm a fool, I'm a softie at heart. God damn. You died with your boas on Taiku? No! Damn! That sucks. Although, it could suck, or it could be a blessing in disguise, because now you're not playing a boas on anymore. Yeah? Yeah? It's all about perspective, bro. Is the encrypted act worth checking? Ah. I saw that as well. I was kind of like, uh, I kind of only care if it's superior. But, uh, we probably should check it just in case it's four. We should check it just in case it's four. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Is that up here somewhere? I am it's not ethereal. Why do people like cryptic axes? So slow attack speed? It is slow, but it also has really high damage. So personally, if I have a choice, I would pick a Thresher. But it's still a decent base. A D space. All right. 
right, let's go, baby. Can a Merc solo Ubers? Hmm. Depends what you mean by solo. Because does solo mean you give them no potions? Then then maybe not. Good day. You know. Then surviving through Maffy Boy might be a little bit too much. But I don't know, it's a great question. It'll be a great video idea, honestly. Can a Merc solo Ubers? It's actually a great YouTube video. I'd click the shit out of that. Ooh. Did not static those bros. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Schmark, get your head in the game, man. Dial in, bro. Dial in. Static's off. Hey, boo. You like watching pacifist runs? Ooh. Ironically, that is a remarkably masochistic thing to enjoy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've never actually watched one. I mean, I've watched... Um, Macro's like summary video of his pacifist run a couple of times. It's a really good video, very well put together. Falcon, Gleam Scythe, I'm sure we found that. Uh, but I can just imagine like watching a pacifist run like all the way through would just be nearly as boring as tuning into one of my streams. You know what I'm saying? Iceman does Merc testing like that. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's up, guys? And welcome. <laughs> Ooh, Smalley. Sylvanius is the best pacifist runner at the moment. I saw that someone had, like, the on speedrun.com, the... World record pacifist runtime was like 16 hours or something. Which is just wild. Because it's like, that's how long it takes me to play through the game normally. Know what I mean? That's. That's me killing it. Enemies using my skills. <laughs> As to the Diablo Research Institution. Yeah, exactly. Wait, we gotta re up with that boot. It's about to wear off. That is another crafting amulet. Don't take doll runes. You can cube them up to make a hell rune and re roll spirit and hunk off. Yeah, I probably should, hey. Um. Probably should. I take him sometimes. I keep him up sometimes. Just didn't feel like it with that doll rune though. Yeah? Can't tell you why. Joel? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Finally got it. I, right, I think we got enough crafting jewels for the moment. I've already got a mule with like quite a few on there. Always nice to catch a stream instead of working. Hell yeah, bro. Always nice to have you here. Welcome, 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 welcome. Ooh, another crafting Ami? 
Maybe we could have a little baby crafting sesh. See how many we can uh, can uh, accumulate. Oh my god, I'm in there. I'm in fucking deep. Yikes. I think we've got like four at the moment, maybe. Maybe five. Flawless. So it would be a super baby crafting session. But it only takes one. It only takes one. The gems needed, that's why. I've been pretty good with gems. Look at this. Look at that. And on a mule, I have one of each chipped. I've been burnt before with gems, as we all know. So I've been better this season. If it, you're right though. If it didn't take any gems, I would pick up every doll. For sure. Oh yeah! Give me the bear. <laughs> give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me that. Give me, give me, give me that thing. Stretch it back, dude. I bet. Oy. Get him, Raz. Stick him, Raz. All you, baby. That last one was me. Ooh, Guardian Angel is a Grela as well if we can yoink one of those. Look how buff Schmuck is. Oh man. The past two years I've been working diligently, diligently on my dad bod. So it was nice to get the opportunity to finally show it off at the beach. You know, people were very impressed. Okay, let's go. Bada buoy. Oh. Oh my god, my. I'm in there. I'm in there. Oh my god, I was in there like swimwear, bros. That was almost it. That was almost the end. Jesus Christ. Thank God for rejuvies. Oh my god, we've got conviction here as well. That is just... No bueno. Raz fucking yeeted on out. Okay. Nice. Another one. In there. <laughs> In there like you like that one? In there like swimwear? <laughs> Ooh, battle booties. We've got 43 war traps at the moment, which is like pretty decent roll, but not 50s. It could be 50s. Victor Lake 93 amulets and rings for crafting. Yeah, we're just getting the amulets at the minute. But uh, I'm leaving the rings. We do have a lot of amethysts. What level should I switch to energy shields and Nova Source? Play solo self found, but you have decent gear. Um, I mean, you can play Nova Source from level one. You know, that's what the Speedy Boys do. So I usually say swap over once you got a Crescent Moon. Crescent, if you got a Crescent Moon and a Spirit Shield, you're good to go. 
Like, you can make it work with uh, less than that for shiz. So, I reckon now. Right now, you should do it. Oh! Yeah! Oh my god, they misspelt low rune. And used an I instead of an L. Damn, nothing but IOs and OMS today, bros. It's freaking teasing me, Seymour. Also, is it worth to upgrade Merc Insight to Obedience and lose Insight Aura? Nah. I definitely... I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're playing Nova Source. Especially not an Energy Shield. Zorg. Yeah. Meditation is just far too good. Far, 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 far too good. Great question, though. Those useless cousin who can't keep a job, yeah. Designed to rune after me, I see. Alright, well, it's been real, cows. You gave us some crafting amulets. You gave us a perfect fire sunder. And you gave us a grailer. Being a V gaze. That was an absolutely bitching roll. You gave us some sweet, sweet experience. Less than one and a half bars to 92. Let's snoop what's up after City of the Damned. Oh, Dark Wooden Underground Passage. Oh, well. I guess that means we're uh, diving back into the Hawk Nation, baby! Crown is undead crown. I'm not excited about that crown. Only crowns with an inordinate number of O's are we excited about. Corona, no, 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 no. Um, wait, we're keeping those Emmys, yeah? Cool looking one. You wish they kept the bug vipers in uh around nilly dilly wow that is the first time i've ever heard anyone have that take kind of respect it you know pave your own path six crafting amulets why don't we save up more before we do it we'll craft Hey Schmuck, what's the highest rune you found this ladder? Highest has been a bear rune. Yes. And second highest has been a mal rune. So. <laughs> Thank God for that bear rune. But we are just about to jump back into Hawk and Trap, so. We could add to that list. Alright, let's load up on these. Give those over there. And we're good to go. Yep, a ghoul, my man. Some of these are fake outs. So we're gonna have to snoop which ones make the cut. This one definitely, definitely fake out. Definitely, 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 definitely. Maybe definitely, maybe definitely. That's a fake out. That's a fake out. That's a fake out. One to maybe is these twenty lifers. Let's get these MF ones in first. Alright, let's 
add in the rest of these lifers. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Sorry, Minald, you lost your spot. And... 252. Oh, brother. Nice. Put that there. Put this here. Feel much better about that magic find. 252. Much, 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 much better. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, dude. Reginals, welcome on in, man. Find your first unique crystal sword. Oh, you forgot the base name and turned it into an Azeraz. Nice, man. A unique phase blade. A unique phase blade. Yeah, there's only like a one in four or five chance that you get Azeroth from that. Yeah, most of the time it's just a lightsaber. So congrats. That's a really good Grayla item. Grinding for a bear makes my whole week. Oh, damn. Which hole? Yeah, you could chuck it on the Merc, absolutely. Just curious, why not cube? Uh, just personal preference. Yeah. Personal preference. Doesn't really make sense. You get more space with the cube, but uh, a lot of what I do doesn't make sense. Yeah. Is it worth doing travel without grief? Depends who you ask. I don't like it without grief, but a lot of people think otherwise. A lot of people think it's like, like just do it with like an oath or an unbending will and it's fine. But I like the grief. Yeah. First Ezra during cows. Fucking sick. Congrats, man. Dope. That's awesome. This was hardcore, right? Sorry for a dumb question. Oh, it's okay, man. It's all good, dog. Some questions are welcome. Usually they're the easy ones to answer, so they're perfect for me. Borderline encouraged, dare I say it. Alright, I just got to nick off to the bathroom, Brrrskis. Then uh, re-up on some, uh, some hydration so we can adequately dehydrate with our goblin juice. And then hopefully I don't... Uh, the chair doesn't, uh, you know... Attempt to end it all while I'm away.
Right, no chair casualties this time, which is good. Good news. We don't want a temporary solution to a, uh, a transient problem. <laughs> Where was Gondor? <laughs> Great call. Should we get freaking Hawking Bros? Let's hawk up a freaking storm, baby. Let's go. Dink. Oh, oh. Yoink. Can I get your chair when it breaks? <laughs> Dude, chair is already broken. <laughs> I broke off one of the wheels. Um. Maybe we'll do a chair giveaway. <laughs> Chair giveaway! I feel like that's the sort of stuff that other streamers do heaps of, giveaways. But uh, just logistically, it sounds like a lot of work. You know what I mean? Cold lightning poison. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nothing quite interesting there. You'll pay cash! <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't, feel, I wouldn't feel right, you know, charging for, um, charging for something like that. How much are we talking though? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Chair brawling event in Melbourne, yeah. You can go to like a fucking chair retirement home or something. With Bru with with Bruce with Brucey boy. Don't check orbs for six, please. Sometimes. Sometimes check them. Most of the time I can't be fucked. Um, but orbs are usually one of the things where it's like, uh, I often don't pick them up out of sheer laziness. They're never six blizz. At least the ones I pick up are never six blizz. And walk. Paris. Yeah, that's right. We're throwing out. We're throwing out six fire, eight fire reses now. Only keeping elevens. Eight fire res is beneath us. How's alarm is what your barb's using at the moment? Yeah, hustle would be for sure an option. Absolutely an option for us. Hustle or enigma. I'll check this blue AP. Since I didn't check the orb. One for me, one for you, you know. Apologies for the poor Griffin's ID. Oh, it's all good. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's Iron Jesus' fault. Curse you. But at least we got to cross it off the Grailer. Doesn't matter what the role is, or was. Snoopy snoop. Where's my super sim? Hey! <laughs> RNG is in the house. Thank you for the griffins, but also screw you for the griffins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jack, come on, I'll take my chair versus yours. Oh my god, my chair is battle ready, having to fucking carry my ass for uh, months on end. Might be a bit overtrained though. Great conditioning, but overtrained. If that makes sense. I don't think it does. But let's just move past it. Oh my god! I'm getting salty about all the Om runes, dudes. The salt is. Flowing! Demon Arch. We've already got that one. Already walking quite fast. We are walking pretty speedily, aren't we? Increased speed is just so nice. 
appreciate the skill. So freaking nice. Whoops. Mine had over a decade on your beauty chair. <laughs> yeah, but carrying you might not be that hard. You know, it's a lot of work to carry me. You know, it takes a lot. I can't. Me, on the other hand, the chair is fucking just putting in straight work over here. For on it. Hey, General Grievous, Sigs is so beneath us. Fill these up with the nice, the nice pepple drank. We want that good stuff. <laughs> I've seen your chair looking at mine. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> I'll see you, baby. Shaking those wheels. Shaking those wheels. You found a 2 sin, 40 IES, 3 light century gambling, Lazik. Gave you one socket. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I found a, uh, we found actually on stream, like season 3, I think it was? Found a 5 lightning century claws, and Lazik did us fucking dirty with one as well. A little rat bag. We still managed to offload it for a low rune. Um, it was an absolute miracle, honestly. But yeah, Lazik dogged the boys on that day. And apparently on this day as well, with yours. Absolutely dogged the boys. You went from being a poor smiter to a smiter with all the best gear in one day. It was so weird to get used to. Huh? Did you find one good thing and uh, flip it to get super rich? If so, what did you find? Tell me your secrets. Ooh, nice. Found a 19 life, five aura, small charm. Yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Can relate. Can relate to one measly little small charm changing everything. Absolutely everything. That's awesome. B bonus. Alright, I'll snoop this one for you. I don't know if that was a. I don't know if that was a Six Blizzard. <laughs> Fade for grief, enigma, exile, and a call to arms. Oh man, you're set, you're golden. You're golden, you're golden, you're golden. Instead, I've just got mine just doing nothing in the stash. I'm not even allowed to use it. But, it's a piece of fine art. We look at it, we appreciate it. Ooh. Could put that somewhere. Maybe here. Rank this one up by five. 257. Nice. Reroll the 45 life for light GC. Oh my god. What's that, like 40 jar runes right there? Oh, yellow battle boots. Damn, Daniel. And winged helm. We still haven't found a v Valkyries. Kind of crazy. Found a Griffins, found a Kira's, found a Shaco, found a couple Shakos. No Valkyries. It's alright. Hopefully it just means we've got one in the bank to cross off later. Although, the, with the time-sensitive nature of this challenge, you know, there are going to be some things that aren't necessarily hard to find, that aren't going to get crossed off. Just because we're on the clock, bros. we got three days to rumble. Two and a half now, basically. 
fine. You're allowed to use yours. Just in case I die, then we lose it. Yeah. Just in case I schmuck up. In case I schmuck it up. Just charge in there without energy shield on or, you know, without the boo on. You know, just a classic. Classic schmuck behavior. Blue battle boots there as well. Inappropriate behavior. Ooh, smolly, 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 smolly. Yoink. Time for a 60 hour stream, honestly. Honestly, don't tempt me. I'm gonna be degenning D2 for the next, for the next long while, you know? When I'm not on stream, I'm gonna be off stream grinding. I'll probably, I was saying before, I'll probably do most of the boring grinding off stream, like doing like normal Andy runs off stream and that sort of stuff. To find stuff like Bane Ash, Torch of Iro, Nell Striker. Still need hot spurs. So I will save you the tedium of grinding normal grinding normal Andy. Maybe we'll do a little bit of it on stream. Ooh, J mod. That could be huge. Should we do an aesthetic zoom with it? Never lucky. Oh, there's a belt there, but I just... I can't be bothered with belts that you need to up. <laughs> so lazy. <laughs> like light belts, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> Flora, dude. Hi, Schmuck. Good to see you live. Thanks, man. Good to be here. In fact, Nate, I take that back. It's great to be here. It's great to be here. Back where I belong, you know? Hawking, hawking corpses in Trav. Back in my stomping grounds. Hawking grounds? Whoa, is Sammy there? Nice. Uh, where are you? There you are. Got these down there. Nice. Did you find the griffins? We did. We did, we did, we did. Terrorize catacombs this morning was unbelievably generous. Inordinately generous. Found two Talzamas, two Herald of Zacharums, a Raven Lore, a Grandfather, and a Griffins in 45 minutes of Terrorize catacombs. It was unethical, to say the least. Completely and utterly unethical. Charlie, what's up, dude? Welcome on in. What? Yeah. Yeah. And a Nazareth. Excuse me. And a Nazareth as well. Yeah. Terrorized Andy is a bit of a cheat code, I feel. But, you know. Part of the game. It's part of the game. Raven Laws is decent fine, had a roll. It was a mid roll. Rolled 15 on the minus enemy fire res. And I think it rolled anti perfect on the all res. So. More just nice to cross off the grailer. It's a pretty, pretty rare one, Raven Law. I've probably only found about five of them in my life. Four eighty magic find blasting. You found three Chams jar, more Oms than you can count. Death web, Azerath, not a single Tal's armor. Yeah. RNG. What a fucking fickle mistress. 
A fickle, fickle mistress. I, um... Yeah, I hadn't found any either, and then I found two within 15 minutes. It was pretty grotty. Very grotty, in fact. Alright, we're gonna clear some of that cash money. Fill up over here. Hmm. Oh. Ralph. Good morning. Good morning, gamer. Welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you slept well. Haircuts on point. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I feel like I'll like it in a couple of weeks. And when it grows out a little bit, get a little bit more fringe action rolling. But it is nice having short hair. It's nice, like, drying it after a shower, and then just, like, running through, running your hand through it. I do like that about it. Giving you yourself a little head scratch. Feels better. Man, that'll feel great if you're bald. Head scratches would, like, fucking be off the chain if you're bald. And I can't wait for that. Oh, what? Any of these lads here addicted to Baltoro? Dude, my friend, very near and dear friend, has been raving. Raving about Baltoro. And he bought it for me. And I told him, I was like, when a man talks about another game with as much passion as you're, uh, you're talking about right now, then I will definitely give it a red hot crack. But I can't get invested in, into it until we crush our enemies and we win this competition. Hey, I just remembered we found a 4 5 facet as well. I forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. So, this stream has been. It's been bad, but like not like that bad. Because the facet, the light facet, was a grailer. So, we got V gaze, we got the light facet. We got the perfect fire, fi fire sun, and then we got uh, Cuckoo Grailer. Wouldn't mind a cheeky little high rune, though. Pretty hot take. I would be happy if I found a high rune. Can you believe it? Can you believe I've never used the jacuzzi? I... did I see a charm and just... Did I just make that up? I just made that up. No charm there. Have you ever found an FV gaze with 20 DR? Not with 20. Not with 20. I found FV gaze before, but not 20. Yeah, I don't think. With Nova Source, would you still use Crescent Moon over a 3 source skill, 11 lightning damage shooters? Uh, personally, I would. Some people do like shooters for mainly for the FCR, for the faster cast rate. Especially if they're trying to get up to 200 FCR. But I am a Crescent Moon man, because I think the minus enemy lightning res is just a metric truckload of damage. It is a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. Much more than plus 10 to 20 percent damage from a shooter's. Ready to rumble. But sometimes with Crescent Moon, it can be a bit tricky to hit the 105 breakpoint. That's the only circumstance in which I would use the intruders, the shooters, is if I needed it to get to the 105 breakpoint. But Ethereal Frosties. Oh, I haven't been doing the timer. 
Apparently that run took four and a half minutes. I never knew minus lightning was better than plus. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can explain it to you if you'd like. Pretty straightforward. I need a key. But essentially, with plus lightning damage, same as plus fire damage, you've already got a lot of bonus percentage to fire or lightning damage from those masteries. So from your lightning mastery, let's say you're a Nova Source, you're probably going to get like around plus 350% to your lightning damage. So when you add 20% to a shooter's to that 350%, damage doesn't actually go up that much. If you had 0% bonus lightning damage, and then you added 20%, it would go up a lot. But, so it's just with the way that it scales. So, minus lightning damage is, comes out in the wash to be much, 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 much more damage. I can't carry Blood Fist we've already found. Found that from blasting normal Andy. Does that make sense? That lightning damage thing. You go over your bob gear, please. Sure, man. Absolutely can. Okay, dokey. I got two spirits for the Hawken. Would ideally prefer these to be Hearts of the Oak. But, you know. I got this absolutely bitchin' grief that we rolled. We got a shaker with a cham for the Can't Be Frozen. Treachery at the moment. We've got a High Lord's Storm Shield with an Ist, War Travs, and Nagel 27 Nagel low on the attack rating, Dwarf Star, and Immortal King so we can wear the Storm Shield. We do need to respect the point so we can take this off though. And then Laying of Hands. And then these are mainly just Magic Find with like some Lifer ones in there and some max damage attack rating ones in there as well. With an Annie and a Torch. That's it. Would you ever do a video on a thousand palace cellar runs? Maybe, baby. I might do that. I Although the thing is, it's like, I don't know if you'd find enough stuff to make a video out of it with just a thousand palace cellar runs. So if I was going to do it, it would probably be more runs. More than a thousand. Might end up being like... You know, 2,000, 3,000. You know. And I'll crank up the harem music really loud in the background. I know everyone loves that music. Oh, Jedi. Got green essence by chance? I do have a green essence for you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You want to make a game or come do a quick drive by? Can do that. Best music in the game. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> it's definitely atmospheric. It's definitely atmospheric. I do know about that. <laughs> You'd want you in that sound, yeah. <laughs> Smart man. Then you wouldn't hear me yapping either, so it's win-win. Alright, beautiful. I'll come by after a, a run or two. Thank you. What build will you use for Maggot Lair Farm? Probably just... Maybe like a Fireball Source or something. I don't know. But, uh... Really, that question is obsolete. Because we're winning, baby. We're winning. No way I'm going to have to run those Maggot Lairs. You should, uh... I'll redirect the question to Misha. Where it's more appropriate for, uh... Her to give some insight on that one. Mm. Fire raise? Fireball. 
All right, one more Taiku and I'll come give you a little green gift. You want to update me on your gear as well? It's gotten a lot better. Sure, you can do a little uh, show and tell in the trade trade menu if you like. Bone spin necro, that would be pretty big brain, yeah. Pierce right through him. Then I gotta play necro, you know? It's the only issue. If, uh, like Lightning Fury Javazon would work. I mean, you need lots of, you need a Sunder and minus Lightning Res, right? But you can, you got a shitty Griffins now. Get a T-Strokes. Could possibly also work. I'll have to suggest that to Misha. Maybe we should start leveling it up now. I'm such a little shit, aren't I? <laughs> Just a fucking smart ass. <laughs> so uncalled for. <laughs> Alright. Oh, here you go, dog. Alright. Show me what you got. Okay, okay, okay. Got a cold facet in there. Nice. Cold again. 3, 4. 5, 3, cold. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Is that... Is that it? Ooh, now we're to... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! These are beautiful. Two cold skillers with life. Ooh, nice attributes and 10 all res there. I mean, 10 experience. Very nice, Taiku. Very nice. Beautiful, even. Your essence is there, homie. You like the haircut? Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. Pierce on his S tier maggot layer. I love that there is a tier system for the best maggot left farmers. I love that. <laughs> I should make a video ranking the best builds to farm the maggot lair with. I feel like it'll do well. You know, got a really wide target audience. Question on everybody's mind. I run a thousand maggot layers. Oh, it'd be more than that. It'd be more than that because we got to add on a hundred runs per death. And I have lost count, but we've died around six times this season. So we're closing in on 2,000 maggot layer runs. Eep. <laughs> Is Warcry? No, I don't have it. I don't have it. It's just an extra button, you know? And it also means two less points that I can sink into fine potion. I had it on our last hawk bar, but I just never used it. So this time I was just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Just save the two points. As being Fnat is like kind of terrifying. Woo! Health dropped a little bit low there for my liking. Wait, the new 64 dead levels, what happened? Oh, there were the ones from from Kano. It was all Kano's fault. Now there were our speed running characters from the last stream where we absolutely carried Kano. Taught him a thing or two about speedrunning. What not to do. Okie dokie. Bada buoy. I didn't realize you were going to count that. Yeah. I mean, we could have easily got away with not counting it, hey, Chris. You know? But, I don't know. It felt like the right thing to do. At the time. But uh, I might regret that later. Come, come. Eh, 
left wound. And thank God we just had such a bastard morning because these drops have fucking sucked. They've been bloody shit ass bros. God damn. God damn. This game be so brutal sometimes. And Jad Zork should be good at Magalo. Bro, the Demon Machine Sork is actually a decent call. Just Pierce. Yeah, that could actually work hella good, hey. I should tell Mish and make sure she holds on to one Demon Machine for when she has to run them. Got him. Ooh, I saw a Grand Charm. I seen it. Okay. Grand Charm, Jewel. Nope, 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 nope. Big fan of Hawk and Trav since season five. Nice. Chance to see you again? Sure, dude. We'll do it quickly just because we, we just did it not too long ago. But we got Grief, Jam Shekel, rolling around with a treachery at the moment. High Lords, Isted Storm Shield, 43 War Travs, 27 Nagel. Immortal Kings, just so we fix a strength thing. Dwarf Star, Laying of Hands. And we got two spirits on Switch at the moment. And the charms are mainly just magic find, max damage AR, and life charms. Yeah, at the moment, with a Annie and a torch. Oops. Awesome thing with Smiter is that it comes with a pre packaged 95 lightning res and, and absorb to, a, to boot. So you get, what do you get? You get 10 from the, oh, yellow, almost the third Hoz of the day. But you get 10 from Resist Lightning and then 10 from T-Gods. Is, is that what you're talking about? What are you on about? I can't carry anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bitchin', isn't it? 95 lightning res. Move over, Uber Mephisto. Move over, one shots. Not today. <laughs> Especially not with a ground on. That's just, or and a wisp as well. Yeah, <laughs> going all in on not dying to Mephs lightning. Why not run wealth? Uh. And they just started with treachery, but like the occasional fade, which I thought would proc more, to be honest. And IAS. And then we just haven't changed it out of sheer uh, laziness. Although I do want to change it to Enigma, but I need just need a jar rune. That's all I need. I need one jar rune, and then we're golden. Uh, I've got a lot of souls. Switch to Defiance Merc as well. Oh. Defiance over prayer. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's different for you because you're cold. Our Nova is our source is in Nova right now. So like have a way smaller health pool. Pretty 
prayer though. So good. The wombo combo. Shale wood. Grandiosity. Oh. Got the life, but not the skills. And I'm the other way around. I got the skills, but no life. Well, it's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? <laughs> At least one of those two things was true. Like that there. Should really use no pickup so grand items don't get in your way while hulking. Oh. I mean, what I'm doing right now is working for me. Dash no pickup. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. I mean, I could guess. I could guess. But, uh... Not having too much troubles. Unless I'm full up in gold, is kind of annoying. Oh, winged helm again! Give me the Valkyrie! God damn it. Just stops you clicking on stuff when you run? Oh, I, th I feel like that would drive me crazy. <laughs> I feel like most things in Diablo, like changing them would just drive me crazy. Even if they're a, a little bit more functional on paper. Just because I've been doing it this way for so long, you know? <laughs> I don't like change. <laughs> Especially if I've been doing it this way for 20 years. I'm like an old man trying to... Uh, who gets a new phone. I just learned how to use the old one. Die, you fool. That guy's fast. Means we should kill him. Kill them all. Blade poison. Get out of here. Wish you could play on Mac without having to load a different operating system. Oh my god. Macs and games are just not a match. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I feel you, man. I had Macs growing up. My whole youth, I had Macs. And holy moly, they're just, they're just built different, you know? They're not up to it. Oh, we got might here. Grandiosity. Love to kill the guy that's given the might aura, eh? That would be sweet. Okay, we killed him second last. Jewel? You've been getting back into it on Switch? Would love to swap to PC as well. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm banning myself from getting Diablo on Switch. Or else it'll just make getting out of bed too difficult, you know? And going to sleep too difficult. If I could just be Hawk and Trav whilst horizontal, like, man, I just don't need that sort of resistance in my life. You know? It'd just be too tempting just to, you know, just to lay there. Just being like, one more run. One more run. And then all of a sudden, three days have gone by. I haven't eaten. I haven't slept. But 
I might have slightly more mid runes. And and then then same deck's way better. Yeah, I've heard good things about the Steam Deck. The load times on Switch are so long. It's easy to dose off, yeah. I feel like that would be extra painful when you're doing runs that are super short like Trav. Like if you're doing bail runs, it's probably okay, hey? Because the runs are like four minutes each. But with like a one minute run like Trav, that would just kill you. That's what happened when I did, uh, like, all those Pindle runs. My load times were freaking crazy. So it took so much, at least the first time around, it took so much longer than it should have. Because in between each run was, oh, Warcry Skiller is worth way more on Hardcore than Softcore. That is a nice skiller. That's a really nice skiller. GG, baby. We got a higher boo. So we're 388 life. With our new skiller, 300, I mean 3,934. <laughs> Not 388. <laughs> we got like an extra 50 life. I don't know if we have space for it right now, but we'll definitely keep it. Absolutely, my guy. In fact, let's... Go a step beyond that. And let's even look that up on Tradery and see what we got going on. See how much that's actually worth. Just a naked plain Warcry Skiller. Uh, Tradery. Let's have a quick snoop here. I don't think we got a... That was a Grailer. <laughs> I think you can cross that off the Grailer. Grand jump. Tell us about your experience. There's too many fucking ads. That's how my experience is going. Galrune, Istrune, Galrune, Lamb Room. What the fuck are you doing? What? That's got four decks on there as well. Are you fucking insane? Server. Oh, that's got 45 life. Oh, that's got 24 gold fine for the gull. Okay, so about an ist. And this one's naked for a gull 10 hours ago. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. That's on hardcore. Good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do me a favor and look up 175 poison damage three, run walk small charm. You can't tell it for the life of you. Ooh, can I be fucked looking it up? I'm in emotional turmoil right now because I really can't be fucked, but you asked so politely, you know? I'm torn. Different parts of my brain are at war with, my, at war with themselves, you know? There's a part of me that can't be fucked and just wants to keep Hawk and Trav. And then the part of me that's like, oh, you know, <laughs> you did ask very nicely. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the part that can't be fucked is winning right now. You know, I'm doing everything I can up there, but uh, it's a losing battle. Oh, God damn it, another Ord rune. Give me an arm, dog. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will take that. <laughs> and I will stop complaining immediately. <laughs> Excuse me. Gathans. Yoink! Malwoon. Alright. We have found Mal's before, though, so not a Grailer, but still a lovely find. A lovely, lovely find, especially since I'm probably going to trade for some tokens at some point in time. And Mal runes are quite useful. You should go for East or Mal, hey? Add that into the table over here. 
do it after stream. Can you show me the Belly Class leaderboard? Oh man, it's just that same battle raging on. It's just raging. It just it never ending, you know? I just can't be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be fucked right now, sorry. I could, yes, to answer your question. I could show you the Pally leaderboards. Yeah. But uh, we got Hawken, man. We're deeply, we're entrenched in a battle, in a fight to the death right now. Magic finding fight to the death. And today we have made very minimal progress. Extremely minimal progress. So can you look up the current stock market at the moment? <laughs> Keep them coming, boys. What can of worms have I opened here? What have I done? Oh, no. Hmm. Amuleta? Nope, nope, definitely not. Can you trade your Shaco? Not at the moment, nah. I'm using... Oh, no, I need both of my Shakos. Yeah. Got one on this guy. It'll be nice to have one for the... One for Pally, slash if I want to go back into cold. Small jump. Good morning from Berlin. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This small charm is for you. Could be worse. Alright. Largy? Light belt is nothing. I don't have the emotional energy to check rare weapons right now, bros. Full transparency. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Streamer, can you tell me the price conversion from Euro to US? <laughs> I am actually interested to know what the US to Australia is right now. 1.51 Australian Delari dues. Pretty good. Pretty good. You've never seen someone identify terrorized Mephi. Me neither. Oh, that's an alt rune. Damn it. Go. Clickbait confirmed. No Mephisto identification. I am overburdened. In the burn. Shrug, you want four to six MF charms? Oh, that's okay, man. Thanks, thanks, though, dude. I'm pretty good on MF charms at the minute, but thanks, man. Charm density is quite good. Much better than the BCD. Much, much better. <laughs> that was an ethereal. 500 ED to open socket 40 IS fools mod. <laughs> oh well. It's the grounds now. I'm the captain now. Oh, two more minutes. Oh, that! It's a Grailer, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I found a Tarnhelm. I don't think so. I'll have to double check. Also, I gotta ditch this gold. I think that might be Grailer. I don't think I found one. Come on. Oh, Smalley. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Armor. 
Tani. That's a great error. Thank you very much. Nice. Yes, I have never been so happy to see you, Ethereal Tarnhelm. 75.05% Grayly completion. Ooh, wee, we're cooking. We're absolutely cooking. Just very, very slowly. We're slow roasting right now. But good things take time. 75% Grayly completion, baby. Any high runes found recently? Nah. I've only found one high rune this season. A bear rune. And my next highest has been an is rune. <laughs> oh, what? Glacial trail and drifted cavern after this one. Come on now. Lomok, what's up, dude? Looking good with the new haircut. Thank you, man. Been a while you'll win against me. Sure, I know it, I know it and cheer for you. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I mean, I've been thrown into... I gotta fucking stash this gold. Okay, let's just do that right now. I've been thrown into disarray this stream because... I've heard rumors that her completion is higher than what it's showing on her Excel sheet. Which threw me off. It was a mental psyop. But, uh... I feel like it was just, um... False allegations. Intentionally designed to get me off my game. Ornate plate! Whoopsy boy. We've already found that one. Ooh, smolly, 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 smolly. Oh man, I feel so much better after crossing something off the grailer. So much better. <laughs> Ah, yes. Sweet, sweet progression. Oh, glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious progression. Reaper's Dolph and Bale? Nice! How'd it roll? Not ethereal, but still nice. Glacial Trail was like five hours. Right, Winnie? Right, dog? I swear to God, Glacial Trail just happened. Yeah, that's so annoying. Is Hawking Trav your best bet at the minute? Nah. Nah. Definitely not. Like, honestly, if we wanted to cross the most stuff off the Grailer, we'd just be... Just be tallying around on a Sorg. But... I do like... I do enjoy Hawking Trav. And it's not a terrible place to find high runes, to hawk them. So it would be nice to cross off a couple of high runes. But I reckon best bet would be doing chaos runs with our, with our Nova Source. That would be most efficient. But we are closing in on a thousand trap runs, so you know we got to bring this. We got to. We gotta take this to a nice satisfying number. And then maybe we could mix it up to a couple of couple of chaos runs. Don't fall for the mental games, bro, dude. They got inside my fucking head, Red. They got inside my head, dog. There was like an hour and a half of this stream that I was completely ruminating on it internally. I wasn't here. They fucking got to me, man. They got to me. So gullible. So easy. They played me like a fool, like a schmuck, even. But it's okay. It's okay. It means that they're scared. They're running scared. And they're resorting to cheap tactics. Because that's their only potential avenue where they can snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. But I will not let that happen. My pettiness far outweighs their mental warfare. Not even close. Not even close. I hate losing. I've got far too much of my self-worth wrapped up in this. If I lose this channel, then if I lose this challenge, then I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old schmuck if I lose this.
All right, let's go, baby. We got T minus. In fact, we should get up a timer. Ooh, we should get up a timer of exactly how long is left to go in the challenge. I like that. I like that. Good idea, me. Occasionally, I have a good idea. Few and far between, but uh, you know, a, a broken clock is still correct twice a day. Something like that. I think we should do that right now. So, 5 p.m. PT to 5 too much thinking. This is too much thinking, bros. What day is it today? Okay. So it's Tuesday, the 12th of March, where I am, at 8 p.m. And then this finishes where I am on Friday, the 5th of March, at 11 a.m. Right? I don't know how many hours away that is. My brain's not working right now, bros. I mean the 15th. The 15th. Not the 5th. My bad. Yeah. Exhibit A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're working with up there. Yeah. It's no good. Honestly. It's a miracle that I, you know, get anything done at all. You're going back in time, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was talking about the 5th of March next year. <laughs> yeah, the challenge isn't how much of one grail we can complete. It's whoever can complete the most grails. <laughs> the most fully completed grails in over a year. Fuck, that would be beyond DJN. Sixty-three hours, Lormok, you bloody legend. So are we talking are we talking sixty-two hours and fifty-three minutes? I think that's what we're talking, bros. We want... Yeah, one of those. One that counts down. So that's two days. Which is... 48. Plus like 15. Which is 14 plus like 52. Right? Oh no, I fucked it up. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later when I can actually think straight. Right now, brain no worky, no goody. Hey, what's up, water? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just over here trying to perform basic arithmetic, and it is pure proving beyond me. <clears throat> Battle booties! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Don't need arithmetic for that one. I know that one's good. All right, we got to roll higher than 43, broskies. Higher than 43. Which is a big ask, especially from me. I'm not good at rolling more traps. 
All right, this is the third pair of war traps for the season. Come on, baby. And if we get higher than 43, it means we can wear them. And it means we can get more magic find, which means we can snowball into crushing our enemies more efficiently. So, 30 to 50 on the magic find, 43 is the number to beat. Oh! Oh, yeah. 35. That's what we call in the industry Gabagool, boys. That's what we call Gabagool. Feels bad, man. Feels fucking bad. I knew it. I suck at rolling these. I suck at it. I suck at it. I suck at it. I suck at it. Like, so bad at identifying war traps. Oh, well, at least we found something, dudes. At least we got, we got something. Oof. Dude, I'm sensing the disappointment. <laughs> I was very disappointed with those. The worst? Oh, man. Oh, brother. Oh, well. At least we got... At least we got that Tarn Helm. And we did cross a light, we crossed a light facet off the Grailer. It's a good, that's a good cross. And we haven't died, you know? I gotta be more optimistic. I'm getting... Like, it is completely ridiculous. In fact, it is just blatantly... ungrateful. How much of a sulk, how much of a sook I'm being right now. After, in 45 minutes of Terrorized Andariel this fucking morning. This morning. That's how recent. I've found Tal's armor's Hawes grandfather, you know, shitty griffins. Like, that was this morning. And I'm already here complaining. Like, that is just childlike toddler behavior right there. Oh no. <laughs> I haven't found anything in a couple of hours. You know, it's been. It's been multiple hours since I found my last TC-87. <laughs> the Griffins was shitty. The Griffins was very shitty, but it wasn't ethereal, which is the main thing. It was one off anti-perfect. Which is honestly quite impressive, if nothing else. And they just found a Warcry Skiller as well. Oh my god, I'm such a sook. I'm such a sook, bros. I gotta be more grateful. Practice gratitude. Oh, great! Yoink, yoink. Be good. Molly! Yeah, three's beneath us. Shooting Griffins doesn't matter. For Nova Source, it helps. Oh, massively. Massively, massively, massively. We got the FCR, the minus, even if it's just 15 minus. Yeah, it's big damage, big damage increase. Life of a gambler, that's me. <laughs> That's me, man. Just always fiending for that next high. That next dopamine rush. That next 0.19% Grayler completion that we can cross off. Grand charm. You know, and we got to think to ourselves in, you know, when times get tough. Because time, times will get tough, bros. We all know this. We gotta think to ourselves that at least at least we don't just have 64% Grayler completion right now, you know? It could be far worse. It could be so much worse. It could be so much worse. Sorry for clapping, that was probably really loud. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies, Dominus. <laughs> 
Uh, has anyone ever complete, managed to complete a Grailer during a single season of Ladder? Yeah, big time. Yeah, 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 yeah. In like much less than that time. And Tom, man. Dude, thank you so much. Tom with the gifted. And another! Oh, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. The one-two punch. Could be dead. Yeah, exactly. 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 We're still kicking. We're still kicking. Remember the start of the season when I was just murdering character after character? Like, it feels so good to not be there anymore. It can actually do what I love the most and magic find now. This is it. This is the green grass, baby. We're on the other side. Turns out we had what we wanted all this time. We just couldn't see it. We just couldn't see it. We had it all along. We're in the promised land, boys. We're in the fucking promised land. Also known as Trav. Also known as Hawk Nation. Okay. Okay, let's go, baby. Potentially an old gold run. We're gonna ditch cash, probably. Sounds like it. Yeah. Full up. Thanks again, Tom. Thank you, man. Tom and Tomaz, whatever it is. <laughs> Tom 4Z. <laughs> 11 more months for a low road. Hell yeah, bro. Nice. NP? Thanks, dog. Yes. Right, let's ditch cash, ditch cash, ditch cash. Ditch cash. Here we go. Got you a three twenty twelve small charm and a jar within a few days, bro. Both of the, both of those are fucking sexy as hell. Didn't get anything the entire season. Until then, still no self found shako since D two R release. Whoa, that is crazy. That's crazy. Oh, I thought that was low. It's crazy how you found those other things, but not a freaking shako. Cross that off before. Huge three three twenty twelve though, man. Fucking huge. And then Jarun, like obviously huge. You're rich. You're rich. You're impressed with not fighting a shaker. You're pretty much bragging about at this point. Yeah, honestly, it's like more. It's so much more likely you found one than, than that you haven't. Like you're fucking beating the numbers over there. You're beating the odds. Chain booties. Ooh, J-Mod, 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 J-Mod. J-Mod. Nope, 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 nope. You know what I reckon it is, bros? You know what I reckon it is? The source of my discontent. Is I think, honestly, just from how busted, how busted that terrorized catacomb session was this morning, that I got kind of used to it which sounds pathetic because it was only fucking one terrorized catacomb session and then i did one last night as well she was terrorized again 
And I got used to that frequency of, you know, godlike drops. And because of that, I'm now ungrateful for the drops that we have been getting. And, like, we have been getting good drops. Like, when I think about it, like, we haven't been crossing a heap of stuff off the Grailer. But that's just an adjustment. Because, like, we've got 75% completion now. Like, crossing stuff off is just going to become much, much more rare. But, like, when we think about when I think about it, it's kind of like... We found a Warcry Skiller. You know, we found some War Travs. We found three to trap Cunning Coronet. We found, like, that four, five light facet. You know? We found a perfect Fire Sunder. We found an upgrade to this Grand Charm that is on the Sorceress. You know? I'm just being ungrateful, man. We have found some good stuff. And we've cropped, crossed a couple of things off the Grailer as well. Cuckoo, the Light Facet, the Tarnhelm. We got the Malvern. We got a Malvern as well. Don't forget the Malvern. Haven't found much this season besides the 7 MF 17 minus Mold Charm. Bro, that's a fucking... Good small charm, though. I found one one of those before. That's a really nice smallie. Manifesting a Zod for the next run. I right, bet, fam. Let's check. Come on. Supreme Manifestation. Let's do it. Never found his ult in my whole life. If we found one now, that would make me a believer. I would believe in something greater than myself. Divine intervention of General Zod? Oh. Damn, 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 damn. You meant this run, right? This one coming. Blowing up my phone for. Zod can't drop from Trav. That's true. The highest is Cham. You're right. <laughs> You're 100% right. I got myself all razzed up for nothing. <laughs> the highest is Cham. <laughs> We could have found two jam runes though. <laughs> In one run. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You always find them in Worldstone? What? You always find Zod runes in Worldstone? Did I miss something? One time in your life you found a Zod in cows by accidentally walking over the corpses. Did you want need a loot filter? Yeah. Yeah, in certain places a loot filter would be huge. I mean, having one always would be glorious as well. But cows is one of them. Cows, LK, Trav. You know, when it's all jammed into this little temple thingy. The loot filter would be absolutely glorious. I wonder how many high runes I've missed in my time. Guess I'll never know, hey? So I kind of don't want to know. Actually, no, I do. I think it'll be interesting. It'd also be really cool to see, like, if there was a way of possibly knowing, like, of all of the rares and blues that I didn't pick up, like, how many of them were actually godlike. That would be cool data as well.
How do you can find a Zod through the Countess minions? Is that too? I don't know. I don't know what her minions can drop up to. I know her light highest is highest possible is low. I have found a Serun from the minions just outside her front door. We all remember that one. Very succulent server rune. Incredibly timely. Probably like two godly items, if that. Legit. Legit. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, it's kind of worth time you save not picking them up sometimes. Unless you enjoy identifying them. And it's different, you know. Just do whatever you enjoy. You found a jar from her minions? Nice. <laughs> really nice. Alright, let's see here. You can go... Air or something. Dork. Now, so what am I doing? This run, I'm I'm all over the shop. I normally clear down first. I'm slipping here, bros. I'm slipping. Little rat bags running away from me. Smartest thing they ever did. Oh, Gito's again. I don't want it. <laughs> I want gauze. <laughs> I haven't found gauze yet. That was nope. Found a lot of Gitos this season. A lot, a lot, a lot. Absolutely slipping over here, Brucey boy. Absolutely slipping over here. It's no good. I always think runes are falling off the bridge in Arcane. Yeah, I know. The amount of... Uh, if you just had a massive net, you put them under the freaking pathway of Arcane Sanctuary, then that is a fucking scheme and a half. If you want to get rich, rich quick scheme, just, uh, you just got to buy a big net. Because every single ghost that dies over the fucking abyss is carrying a high rune. Every single one. At least that's how it feels. And sometimes... Sometimes in life... How it feels is more important than how it is. Definitely not always. Alright, small charm. Hey, uh, yeah, I guess we'll chuck that on the smiter. It's like, just makes the cut. Just makes the cut. <laughs> newt, newt. <laughs> nice. It's a little pingu reference. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for blessing me with that pingu reference. How did you know that that was exactly what I needed in this moment? Had to dip for a bit. Anything good in the last 30 minutes? Hey, welcome back. Uh, we found some crappy war traps. These little guys here. They rolled 35 on the magic find, which is not a good roll. But it's a good find all the same. We did find a war cry skiller. You might have just caught that at the end. Pingu is awesome. Oh, man. Pingu is fucking iconic. Absolutely iconic. Make a show that good with no words, then you're... Then you're onto something. Onto something brilliant. Brilliant. Something that transcends language itself. You know? Like Mr. Bean. 
Ooh. Isaac, my pet, my ex got me into Pingu. She's gone. Pingu is forever. <laughs> I, I feel that, man. I feel that. <laughs> well, that's the greatest gift she ever could have given your dog. Ever watched Johnson and Friends as a kid? I don't think so. Sometimes with shows I watched as a kid, like you, I forget about them, and then I see a s image of them, and it all comes flooding back. But I don't have Johnson, Johnson and Friends like on lock, ready to go. But it could just be repressed somewhere. Like that happened the other day. My older brother was telling me about this show. God, I've forgotten what it's called. It was, it was this show about, like, these, like, fighting robot, like, kind of, like, tiger sort of things. And there was one called the White Liger. Like, that was, like, the main character. And he was telling me that he rewatched it recently. And I was like, bro, I've got no fucking idea what you're talking about, man. And he's like, no, no, no. Yes, you do. You just need to see, like, an image of it and it'll all come back. And I was like, I don't know, dog. You know? Like, nothing's happening up here. Zoids! Yes! Yes! Zoids! Yes! That's what it is. Zoids. Yes. Um. And then I was like, oh, I don't know. But then I googled it, and the second I saw, like, an image of it, I was like, oh my god. This just unlocked, like, a fucking flood of memories. Like, an absolute flood of memories just came rushing back all at once. You know? It was honestly fucking psychedelic. It was a psychedelic experience. I had a psychedelic experience with the Zoids. It's so good to hear that it wasn't just me though. <laughs> you got a couple of fellow Zordians out there. Much respect. Teletubbies? I never really watched Teletubbies. Yeah. I don't know. It always kind of creeped me out. Blue's Clues? I never really watched Blue's Clues either, eh? I obviously, like, know who, you know, like, know what it is. But it wasn't really my jam. Absolutely take a fade. Lum rune, I'm gonna leave. I've just got a lot of lum runes, bros. So sorry if that pains you to see. Just got a lot of them, you know? Cubum? Yeah, but it's just not worth my time, you know? Are we gonna cube him? Cube him to Coes? Cube the Coes to Fowls? Cube the Fowls to Lambs? Cube the Lambs to Pals? Just like... Can't be fucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> Start of the season, I would've picked it up for sure. Cheese TV was S tier television? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, we, I wasn't really, we weren't really allowed to watch television in the morning, except for on Saturdays. But, um, you know, occasionally, occasionally we'd be able to watch it here and there. And it was the shit. So good. You've changed leaving lumberings on the ground. <laughs> Bro, who are you, man? 
Who are you and what have you done with Schmuck? You haven't died in weeks! Is this AI? Is this pre-recorded? Impossible. Doo -doo -doo -doo. What's the sitch? So catchy. Lives in my hand red free nowadays. Hey Screamer, what's up dude? Nice new pick. Good luck with your shift, man. Are you going to put up a compilation video of a thousand trav runs? Best believe it. Best believe it. It might be more than a thousand. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep blasting this grail for the next, like, 62 hours. And then after that's done, then I'm gonna edit up Trav stuff with, with some other drops thrown in there as well. It's the loose plan. Beluge. I already found Veluge. Just cross Manal off your grail. That's a feels good moment, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean the first the first Manal counts as much as the first Zod. So um absolutely a feels good moment. Absolutely. You should make a video of every Manal drop you've ever got. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a couple of little montages, but not... I've never done a montage that's like every single Manal. Okay. Jail, rude. Unfortunately, that's a kite shield, not a monarch. Much to my eternal dismay. Jewel. Craft with that one. Bro, he's got wigs. All oh, right, is that a haircut? It is a haircut, yeah. Or it was a haircut, past tense. Last dance. I feel like you can like see my scalp, but it doesn't actually look like that in real life. That's like the just a, a camera playing tricks. Camera's playing tricks on you, bros. Now it's just hair. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's just very depressed hair. You know. Buzzed schmuck. I'll tell you what would get me buzzed. An Omrune right now. This run. Then we'll have a... Then we'll have a buzz schmuck on our hands. Okay. Oh! Malvern! <laughs> I mean... That's, uh, you know, it's partial buzz. <laughs> it's just starting to kick in. Freaking Malvern, baby! Second Mal of the stream! Nice. And 32 ED Ruby Jewel. It's not terrible. That's not terrible. We're edging closer to Om Rune. How many more Mal's do we need to get to Om? So two Mal's to Ist. Four Mal's to Gull. Eight Mal's to Vex. Sixteen Mal's to Om. So we just need 14 more Malaroons this stream, and we can cube them all up to Omroon. Which is absolutely the most efficient way of doing it. Without a doubt. Alright, come on. Run 999, please. Show me the money. Very aesthetically pleasing 999 run counter. Ooh, we got Might Bros. Imagine if we died one run before 1,000. Ooh, I hope this isn't foreshadowing right now. There we 
we're golden. Yeah, we're golden. Yeah, 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 we're golden. Do runes count for the grail if you give them? Unfortunately not. Only if you find them El Natural. Or hawk them. It'd be a lot better for me if cubing them, cubing them counted. Because Mish has a wide margin on runes. Chiggity, check this out. This is her. At least I believe this is her. 64.51. But look at runes. She's found Ist Vex on Low Bear Jar Zod. Fucking crazy. Crazy. She's found Aterials. Insane in the membrane that she found Aterials. Like, that is cooked. And the rest is pretty Gabigool. I'm gonna be honest. But. Aterials and Azod. I know. I know. The little rat bag hawked them both. What a rat bag. But we love her. But she's also a mortal enemy. I'm conflicted. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could teleport. Fuck yeah, boy. I can't. Fuck yeah, boy. Smolly, 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 smolly. Yeah, these guys are just pissing me off. Can you just, like, get the fuck out of here, please? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You played D2 since 20 years ago and yesterday you found your first Tyrael C4? Bro, congrats, man. That's huge. Where'd you get it from? Nice. Super nice. I've still never found one. Found like... I found like four unique sacred armors that could have rolled Tyrael's. Like, quite a few more sacreds that couldn't have rolled Tyrael's, like ones from Pindle. But, haven't been lucky yet. But that just means it'll be better when, when we do find it. That gorgeous blue armor. Have you watched Final Space Truck? You should, you always give me Gary Godspeed vibes. I haven't. But I'm going to write that down right now. Final space. Gary Godspeed. And I'll get back to you tomorrow as to... With a thank you. That's so sweet of you to utter my name in the same breath as the legend Gary Godspeed. Or... <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? That character's a murderer. You know? One of the two. No middle ground. Gary Godspeed... Final space. I have seen Final Destination. That I have seen. He's great. Oh, thanks, man. Sweetheart. Finished with last epoch for the moment. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm all in on uh, D2 right now. Winning this Grailer competition. And... Just, uh, I'm just really enjoying doing the Grail. I'm really enjoying it. Like, even after the competition, I'm so excited to see how much, how far we can, how far we can push it, you know? Icy boy. You want God tier for your first hardcore ladder run? Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> you got GG characters. Thanks, dude. I mean, I do play a lot. You know, we got to factor that in. <laughs> I got a lot of time to play. Um, so just by sheer volume, you can uh, you can sometimes chase down. You know, stupidity. This sort of stupidity. That uh, kills 371 levels of hardcore characters. 
Remember to smash the like button. Oh, thanks, dog. Only if you like it, though. Yeah, we're golden. Yeah, we, yeah, we're golden. I feel like this run has been like a little bit laggy. It's kind of scary. I am overburdened. Twenty-two life. Grandi. Let's throw that one back on the ground. I can't. I'll throw it on the ground. All right. What I want to do is I want to do a quick clean up of the stash because it's getting a little bit messy, and I find it hard to think here so just gonna move the crafting jewels over to the crafting broski you bang bang chill there you can get some Amis to Amy This is our amethyst mule, as you can tell by all of these amethysts. Um, Inky dokey. This is our jewel mule, as you can tell by all of the jewels. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Can't wait to arrange these by color later on. It's gonna be intensely satisfying. Let's just drop off some of those skillers. Stash clear. How to go skillers? What if I don't like it, but you've already hit the like button? Can you get a refund? Yeah, we offer full cash re refunds on all dissatisfied customers. Full cash refunds. Let me even tell you a little YouTube secret, bros. It's actually a good thing if people hit the dislike button. You guys know that? As long as you still have a positive ratio. Well, I don't know if it positive, just positive is, is enough. But as long as you still have a good ratio of likes to dislikes, it still counts as engagement if people hit the dislike button. <clears throat> so you know how... Some YouTubers say at the end of their videos, like hit the, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you disliked it, you know? If you hit the dislike button, you're, you're helping. But it also means that their, their videos are less likely to show up on your feed. Much less likely, much less likely. Yes, I like. <laughs> I like that. I can't. Shows people are watching the video. You only really cares if you watch the ads. Yeah, or they. Yeah, they want you to. They want you to engage with the platform and stay on the platform for as long as possible. For as much as possible. There's all various things that give the YouTube algorithm good juju, you know? Like all of the stuff that you guys hear like fucking every video you click on. <laughs> we all know what it is. I don't need to tell you again. But watch time is big, 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 big important, big important watch time. Getting shafted by your torch ID this ladder? Oh, brutal, man. That fucking sucks. I was thinking actually of, um... Farming up some keys to do a, a couple more torch runs on street. Because we don't actually have a source torch at the moment. 
She's rolling around with a assassin torch. <laughs> but maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I'll like farm some keys like off stream. And um, we can do a couple of torch runs tomorrow, see if we get lucky. Hit a source torch to increase the efficiency of our sorceress farming. Hey, Schmack, where's the Jimmy Neutron look? <laughs> or the, uh, the Johnny Bravo <laughs> fucking fringe that defies the laws of gravity. <laughs> I feel I look better with the Jimmy. <laughs> Corey, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the channel, homie. Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Enterprise. Comes out the closet, comes into the Minal gang. Oh man. Sounds like you came out of the closet and then you you just you just came into another closet. Ooh! Hello? Okay. Now I don't know if I want this amulet to be good. Let me explain. Because if this is good, then what that means is I'm gonna have to have a clip in the video. That is me talking about coming in closets. So we could be praying for an oak here. But uh, we also need a Sirachins for the Grailer. Oh. No co. Okay. Turns out after IDing that, I did want it to be good. If it only been a Manal's. <laughs> if I only had a heart. Any good finds? Yeah, we had a couple of decent ones. We found two Malruns. We found a perfect fire sunder. We found some 35 war traps. We found a 4-5 lightning facet. We found an ethereal Tarnhelm. We found Cuckoo, Cuckoo Shikaku, which is a Grailer. Um, we found a plain Warcry Skiller. Fails bros. It's crazy we've done a thousand runs here and haven't found like T-Gorge, T-Strokes, a Ret Face, Titans. It's pretty crazy. And just one high rune, just a bear rune. It's a good high rune, but it's only one. Only one. Schmuck's got the luck. You got the love. I need to see me through. Where do we get the refunds forms? I would like to file a claim. <laughs> you no form required, but uh, what I will do, I will pay you directly got PayPal, four easy payments of zero dollars and zero cents to reimburse you for the fiscal toll it took for you to click the like button. Minus taxes. And a small administrative fee. So, you actually owe me money. With interest. You got the love I need to see me through. Amrun! Come on now. Ooh, ring a ding a ling. We got good Amrun density at the moment, bro, so I'm just gonna leave that little sap sucker right there, right there. Just a PSA on that one. This is why I don't like any of your stream shamanka cars too much. Hey, fair play, man. Fair play. Nothing's free in this world. Are you using the gold for Gamba? Oh, you best believe it, baby. You best believe it. In fact, it's almost Gamba time. Very close to Gamba time. 
Get one more stash full and we, uh, we gamber it up. Any good gambles so far? Not really. Had some decent ones, but nothing quite video worthy, you know? Like, had like naked 220s, like with nothing else on there. Kind of like, ah. Yeah, not, not gonna waste someone's time with that in a video, you know what I mean? Or like, wear it myself. Broadsword to your rune. Double. I'm kidding, I definitely violated your like button. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, man. You have an edge bow? No. Nah. And I can't be bothered making one either. It's so lazy. Just oozing with laziness. Dreaded reverse Uno card got you again. <laughs> Damn it. Thwarted yet again! By the old no you strategy. I can't. Had too many buttons. And it's like. And it's just like. Yeah, I gotta click, keep the edge in the stash, and then like. After I gamble, I have to like put it back in the stash, and then put my gear back on, you know, I just. Can't be fucked, you know? Not right now. I'll make one later. Make one later. Like, gold is so easy come, you know? So easy come. When you're hawking up a storm. You got the love I need to see me through. See if Mishi's awake yet. Fishy, why are you sleeping? Want to say I love your videos? Oh, thanks, Rob. Thank you, man. You almost never get a chance to catch you live. One of my favorite D2 streamers. Oh, thank you, bro. That really means a lot to hear. Thank you, man. We are, we're working on a video right now. We're diving back into the Hawk Nation. Hopefully, it'll be out next week. Or maybe even pre next week. Oh! That one got me. That one got me. I saw the O. And then I saw the rest of it. Damn it, dudes. Gothic shield. What's that, Radiments? I, I actually found that for the first time this morning. And a yellow Arax. Mission Australia too? Nah, she's on the other side of the world, dude. I can't carry you. She lives in Canada. Where they have They have their milk in bags. Blew my mind. Apparently everyone else knew about it, but uh, it was news to me. We have found the ward. I found that this morning as well. Yeah. We're due for a good high rune. Right? Right? <laughs> it's it's hard to be salty. It's hard to be salty with like how much good shit we found. But uh I'm still a little salty. <laughs> it's a little. <laughs> like enough of these males. I mean, I'll take them, you know? I'll take the mouse. But, uh, I prefer Iron. Jagged Star. Wait, is that Banas? If that's Banas, that's a Grailer. Jagged Star. Because Morning Star is Blood Rise. But Jagged? That could be 0.19% completion right there, dudes. If that's Banas. Moonfall. Ugh. Oh. It's not Barnaz. I should have known that. I should have known that stuff, honestly. 
Don't be sorry, be better. Surely we've found Moonfall, yeah. Surely. Ooh, one more minute and we can see what the Terror Zone in an hour is going to be, broskies. One more minute. Hi from Quebec. Oh, Eric. Welcome to stream, dude. Sorry if I missed that one. How did your reading skill improve without a loot filter? It's improved. <laughs> I don't feel improved. How shit was I before for it to have improved? <laughs> Very shit. <laughs> Borderline illiterate. Um, maybe just practice? Could be it. Let's see here. Joel? Don't you feel like reading is the skill you need for the Hawk Nation? Yeah, I feel like when you got heaps of stuff there, reading helps. Big time. But I also miss stuff. You know? I also miss stuff all the time as well. You guys are like, grr, grr, Grand Jump! And it's like, I'm just waffling about ferns or something, and then I'm in the next game and I miss it. Or like, Hello. jewels and stuff sometimes fall through the cracks. Or like, uh, occasionally, blue monarchs. Humble apologies, lest we forget, RIP. We can check. Oh, out of steps and planes of despair. That fucking sucks. Glacial Trail to Outer Steps. No bueno. Absolutely no bueno. You got the love I need to see me through. Alright, let's go gamble all of our gold. Ooh, Grand Charm. Grands are pretty great though. I know, right? Sometimes I feel like it's just me. Oh, I am lagging up a fucking storm here, dudes. Terrifying. Walk mail. Yellow shaker. Hold. I kind of just want to GTFO ASAP. It's not very nice, pathless. You know? I know it's shit. You know? But you don't say it to someone. That's... <laughs> you just think it. That's just common courtesy. You got the love I need to see me through. That's alright, bro. I'm a little bit on the spectrum myself. So there's a lot of things that were intuitive to other people that I kind of had to learn through trial and error in my youth. So maybe that's just one of them. All right, let's go gamble. Let's go gamble, baby. Let's go get. What do we got here? 13. Okay. It can always grow back. In fact, I would bet my bottom dollar that it will grow back. Nope, 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 nope. Got an edge bow? Nah. I'm just lazy. Even fucking lazier than my hairdresser is, fellas. I'm saying something, boys. Two twenty two sockets incoming. <laughs> oh, two thirty. Hands can grow back too. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> two thirty. <laughs> Every time I see a die damn gamble, I just my heart like 
goes up a couple of inches in my chest. And then it drops. It absolutely plummets to the ground. I wonder if gambles count for our Grailer. We can discuss. I guess... Since we already crossed off the Griffins, it doesn't really matter anymore. They should count, right? Because they're harder to get than find. They're harder to gamble than find. <laughs> I think they should count. Unless she gambles a Griffins, then they definitely shouldn't count. Oops. This one. You got the love I need to see me through. Three to lightning skills. Nothing else. Gamble for girl if you haven't got it. Oh, I found a couple of girls. Found a couple of girls. Whoa! Is that good? We take this little sap sucker to Lazik. Am I rich? Not bad. No. And mis mixed messages, fellas. Yeah, I got a couple of girls from doing normal, normal Andy. Liquid Flame's way better. That's a good point. What are the ones where you want DR? I know there are some builds where you like high DR. Like, I guess they're probably less relevant for... Hardcore, because there's less dueling action. It's mostly PvP stuff. Okay, so it's like kind of... Kind of cool. Kind of irrelevant for hardcore gamers like ourselves. Right now, in this present moment. We got the love I need to see me through. We got the love. We got the love. I need to see me through. You off a pendle? It does hit fucking hard, doesn't he? Do the pally. Oh. Nice old res there. Oh, we got a Griffins, boy! No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. For the next batch of full inventory of gold, I'll make an edge bow. Because you, we chew through it fucking quick, don't we, lads? I'll do it for the next batch. <laughs> uh, where is the rest? Okay. One so great strength. Is that a grandfather in your stash? You best believe it. You best fucking believe it. That was a little gift from Terrorized Andy this morning. Felt amazing to cross that off the Grailer. Oh. Along with two of these. And this. And two Hoses. And a Griffins. And a Ravenlaw. It was... A fucked up terror zone. <laughs> it was the grossest thing ever. Boomer sword, yeah. Yeah, this is worth this is worth 75 stones of Jordan. His grandfather goes for 40 perfect skulls. <laughs> That's how much it was worth back in my day. 40 perfect skulls. 
how inflation everything's all about. Runes, runes, I don't understand runes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it there for the day, bros. Uh, I gotta eat some food urgently. Urgently. But uh, thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out. And it feels good to be back, baby. It feels good to be back. And we are gonna be degenning this so hard over the coming days because we must win. We must win. I'm gonna eat and uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on the Terra Zone stuff. I'm gonna be keep, keep grinded, but I might do I might do a couple of boring grind stuff for a little while, like do normal Andy. Um, but if Terrorized Trav pops up tonight in a couple of hours, you know, we might have a double stream. Double stream! But take care, dudes. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right. All the best, homies. Me and my terrible haircut, signing out.